That's good! Job.
yes. Love some good Marusa no no jams. We'll have to play that game at some point. We'll have to get around to that game properly. At some point in the future. On the men, yeah, I am still not a hundred percent. My brother had to quit his job as a weightlifter because he wasn't strong enough. He handed in his two-week notice yesterday. Somebody shoot that guy. Frog race has been redeemed. Hold on, let me see. Space Hoppercopter, thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. Jacob Fly, thank you for the 21 whole years. Ultimo, thank you for the 100 bits. Mushroom Eyes, thank you for the 41. Grims, thank you for the 12 whole years. Mega Driver, thank you for the 21 whole years. Bacon Rat, thank you for the 49. Kronos, thank you for the 9 whole years. Mike, thank you for the 100 puns. Scolionage, thank you for the 35 whole years. Klaus, as well, thank you for the 27. Yes, there it is. I think that's everything. I hope I didn't miss anyone. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. I think we're good. Alright, Frog Race has been redeemed. It's the streamly ritual of seeing if this button still works. Choose your frog! Yeah, Tim Fallen is here, Lord Fallen. Yeah, Sir Leafu. Thank you for the 31 whole years. Let me turn those down a smidge. Uh, something like that, probably. Alright, betting time is over. Dog has 38% of the vote here. Best of luck, everyone. Oh, they're pretty even so far. Frog number one pulls away. Dog does win the frog race. Yes, indeed. Pay it out to frog number one. Mr. Fooey! Thank you very much. Thank you for the- thank you for continuing the gift sub you got from Dagger Joe. Pay that out to frog number one. 349,000 new yen given to 21 people. Yeah, it's rigged. It's extremely rigged. What I do before every frog race is you can't see it, but on my end I have like an extra apparatus that I just get to pick whoever, I get to pick which frog wins in advance. I just pick, I look at what everyone else votes and then I pick the other one. And that's why it never seems like you win. It's, uh, it's premeditated. That's probably, it's probably not true. Hi, hello everyone. It's been a little while. Uber Wolfman! <coughs> I'm dying, Squirtle. Uber Wolfman, thank you for 24 whole years. I have been sick since about Tuesday last week. Things are better now. I'm no longer shaking. I'm no longer sneezing or dying or writhing in a bed. I'm just kind of okay. Yet despite everything, the cough remains. So I'm just consuming every lozenge on the planet Earth. Eventually it'll go away. Let's see, poem has been redeemed. Let's hit that button. No, it's not the Rona. That was the first thing we checked. We're good. Hey, Stampede, how about a poem? It's never too late for them to rip into the fruit of our labor. Their ink-tipped claws tear and shred, leaving the juiciest of juices to desiccate 
amid the dust and spilled oil of the cold concrete garage floor. They do it in the name of profit, each hiding behind the next, carving into the most succulent with the casual ease of seasoned smiling surgeons without the vaguest taste for the fruit they cut. Mmm. Thank you, Stampede. It's very fitting. Hey, Stampede. No, no. <laughs> we almost started Tonight. a second one. Hey, hey, stop that. All uh, right, it's fine. We had, to put a, we had to put the kibosh on it. He was about to start a second one. Anyway, yeah, we're back. Gonna play some video games. It's about time we get a real job, I think. We've been fucking around with this streaming thing for, what, four, four and a half, five years? It's been a while. It's about time we get ourselves a real job. When I titled this stream what I titled it, there were quite a lot of people in this chat room that were very confident in the game that we were about to play. Quite a lot of you seemed extremely confident that you know what game was about to pop up today. Y'all must have forgot whose stream this was. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Work time fun? Yeah, that's what everyone said. That's what, that's what everyone said we were playing today. Maybe we even will. Maybe we'll get to it. Maybe. But that's not what we're doing. We're playing Hilton Garden Inn Ultimate Team Play for the PSP. I don't know what the fuck y'all thought we were doing today. We're getting ourselves a real job. You think that you think this is a fucking game? We're not fucking around on this show. Yeah, what a JPEG. It's great. Fuck yeah, this stream is real bitches. Hell yeah, brother. Of course we're playing this. I don't know what y'all thought this was about to be. We're gonna play... Yo, Ultimo, thank you. 70 bits, oh boy. Thank you for the 70 bath towels. We're going to play the Hilton Garden Inn employee oh, yeah. training program for the PSP. This is... This got quite a limited release. Some Somewhere less than a thousand copies of this were ever made. And emulating it is an entire shit show that took days to figure out. Please do not ask me what I did. I will not be able to tell you. I followed some instructions to the letter, and eventually it just kind of worked. Haita Haita! Thank you for the 44 whole years. Yeah. This was made by uh, Virtual Heroes as a means of training employees. I believe it was optional, though. I don't think this was ever a mandatory part of the Hilton Garden Inn curriculum. Because, you know, not everyone knows how to operate a PSP, I assume. Why PSP? That's a good question. We may never know. We can learn a little bit more, though, if we watch the news. So how about we watch the news real quick, and maybe it'll shine some light on this matter. You know, running a major hotel isn't exactly child's play, but it can be a game. In fact, one chain is now using a popular video game system to train its workers in all areas of its hotel operation. The new game just made its worldwide debut right here in Austin, and CBS 42's Fred Cantu checks it out in tonight's Gadget Guy report. When you check into a hotel, you want the crew to know exactly what to do, mm -hmm. how you expect the rooms to be made, and how you ought to be served in the restaurant. And now the crew can be trained in running the hotel without subjecting the guests to the pitfalls of on-the-job training. We are the first company to use the PlayStation Portable, and also the first company in the hospitality industry to create a game. Not many companies are creating uh, games for training. Hilton created a game for the Sony PlayStation Portable that's letting employees oh, role play at the front desk, housekeeping, and more. The game presents common hotel situations and tests whether the workers know the drill. 
you'll get instant uh, responses from the from the game itself that will tell you you've chosen the right thing, you've chosen the bad thing, and you'll ch choose uh, you'll learn right and wrong behaviors. The game also tests workers to make sure they remember the little things that matter to guests. So when you walk in the hallway and there's a, a tray on the floor, and if you don't pick it up, mm -hmm. your scores are going to go down right there. Oh, Hotel no. sometimes may not know something went wrong until they receive a poor review from a guest survey. With this game, they know instantly what they're doing wrong and what they need to do when they deal with the real thing. Fred Cantu, CBS 42 News. Thank you, Fred. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to play the Hilton Garden Inn Ultimate Team Play Employee Training Program. That is, uh, that's our plan. There's nothing else we can really say about it. Let's just jump in. All right. Time to clock and then proceed to grab anything that's not nailed down and smuggle it out the window. We'll have to see what happens when we play this really badly. We'll see if we get fired. Truly, Howard Johnson's game gear tines were ahead of their time. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Thank you. Thank you, Sly Dante. Thank you, Tepid Snake. Let me... Jeez. Every time I haven't streamed for like a week, <laughs> I forget how to do all the stream things. Okay, I think we're good. Wonder if they got wonder if they pushed for this after the DS McDonald's game? Possibly. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a correlation, yeah. Uh PSP. Eh, game was not installed, launching the default game from UMD. Now, despite this looking like an error message, this is the only confirmation that we're gonna have that we've booted it correctly. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes! We're in! We're in. We're in the Hilton Garden Inn. We're here to apply for a real job. Yeah, after today, you'll be able to put this on... You'll be able to put this on your resume. Okay, real talk. Is the an endgame stage of this game, and is this on speedrunners? I suppose what I'm asking is, do we make history today? <laughs> That's a good question. Sick mystery point and click. I have a feeling that we won't. Hello, and welcome to Hilton Garden Inn's Ultimate Team Play. Hello! By playing this game, you will learn how to improve our guest loyalty. Uh huh. Now go have fun. Don't threaten me with a good time, John Hilton Garden. Yeah, tell me the tutorial. Please tell me more. Welcome to Hilton Garden Inn's Ultimate Team Play PSP. You can use the analog stick to look around the hotel. Okay, this is already a problem. Left stick is to look around, and there is no right stick. Move forward by pressing triangle. Oh, hell yeah, brother. This is gonna be good. Move backwards by pressing X. Oh, dude, it's got golden eye controls. Let's go. Yeah, we got them Tarak controls. Use the analog stick and the buttons to follow me behind the front desk. Yo, Typhus! Where's the complimentary towels? That's a good question. Thank you for the 100 complimentary towels. Hey, uh -huh. okay. Gotta follow him. Oh no, I can't move diagonally. I'm not allowed to press two movement buttons at the same time. I must Real alternate. Hotel Sim Gaming hype. Thank you, Dan Fan, for the 100 Hotel Sims. Move your cursor over the newspaper on the counter and press down on the D-pad to pick it up. Then move to the trash can behind the front desk and throw it away using the down D-pad button. You got it, here I go. Where would that be located? The Stay Fit Kit. I've taken it. I've taken a Stay Fit Kit. <gasps> Cookies! I'll take a cookie. I will never put this cookie back. There you are. Pick up trash. I cannot pick up the trash. I'm over encumbered. I have to put the cookie back. All right, you got me. You got me fair and square video game. 
Now I can pick up the trash. I'm not, a ha I'm not allowed to have trash in one hand and a cookie. Good! Now let's pretend I'm a guest and I need to check in. Go to the computer and interact with it using down like you did with the trash. Once you interact with the computer, select pre-check-in using X and select Miss Washington. Is SALT important? SALT stands for Satisfaction and Loyalty Tracking, which is apparently a real metric that this hotel used. <laughs> I have to check in. Oh, okay. I thought I had to select Miss Washington, but I just pressed the button. Now let's check them out. Interact with the computer. Check out. Yeah, it doesn't seem to... Check out. Great job. It's important to handle all guests in a timely fashion. Danny! This five dollars go buy some game. I love counts. <laughs> Can't wait to join one after watching you play this game. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Is this how... I mean, by the end of this, we're all going to be able to apply for Hilton Garden in... In the upper left corner, you'll find the hotel's salt score. Your salt score is affected by conversations with guests as well as your actions. Get out of town. Your son, Sisto... <laughs> Thank you for the uh, 25 bits. When ending a conversation, gold stars will appear if you made choices that improve the experience of our guests. Red broken stars will appear if you made many poor choices. Additionally, performing tasks on your task list quickly and efficiently will result in a higher salt score, while a poor performance will lower your score. Now we'll discuss what each role does in the hotel. Uh... Oh, Christ, dude. Yeah, tell me more. As a guest service associate, you'll cover the front desk, checking guests in and out. Yeah, we're gonna have to take notes. I think we want high salt levels, yeah. Gotta have the dating sim mechanics. You got the customer meter, the patience meter. Be sure to watch the guest patients and take care of them in a timely manner. <laughs> yeah, one moment, please. Just been here. What's that do? I can just leave? I can just leave at any time, huh? You look great. We don't want to make a guest wait too long or they'll give bad salt scores. Tell me about food and bev. In food and beverage, you'll need to greet guests, deliver their orders, and make sure to hand over quests in a friendly and timely fashion. You'll have the chance to serve through both breakfast and dinner, and nothing else. In breakfast mode, in addition to caring for guests in a timely manner, you'll be tasked with maintaining the buffet and pantry. He looks weirdly detailed in a crusty way. That's exactly how I felt about Half-Life 2 when it came out. You are telling me this hotel runs the same metrics as my casino? Yeah. This really is real job gaming. I know, I wasn't fucking around when that's what I called the stream. I meant we're getting a real job today. During dinner mode, you'll need to make sure to answer room service calls. There's no shot, dude. We're never gonna get hired here. After you take a room service order, you'll need to use the phone again to instruct a coworker on how to deliver the order properly. Okay. I'm going dinner mode. Tell me about engineering. When playing the engineering role, when you when you multi-class into engineering, Simon, thank you for 26 whole years. You'll stand uh, you'll start in front of the front desk and you'll have to pick up the you'll have to use the down button to pick up the task list. As an engineer, you'll need to repair anything in the guest rooms that they've reported broken, either through the task list or through calls you receive. Be friendly and courteous, and make sure to watch out for any other problems in the room the guest may experience, even though they did not call for that problem. Nah, you got me fucked up. Got me fucked up, you think I'm doing all that? Great that you're ready to begin your day. Remember, you can press the start button at any time. 
Have a great time and enjoy ultimate team play. I'm ready. Create a new pro a new player profile. I can export my salt scores to show my actual prospective employers. <laughs> yeah, we just skip the tutorials. Was this sold at retail stores? No. It wasn't sold anywhere. This was just for the hotel. School ownage. Dino, let's literally start a hotel. It's all here. That's what I'm saying. You get it. You understand. John. Uh, oh, hotel code. The, the hotel code, if you do get this game working, the hotel code has to be Hilton or the game will not work. Who dares? Bluto, thank you for the raid. Everybody that just got here on the Bluto raid. Sheriff Nonchalanto, thank you for the 35 whole years. Everybody that just got here in the Bluto raid, uh, uh... We're here to get a real job. We're applying for the Hilton Garden Inn by playing their PSP employee training program. I'm not kidding. Dick Debonair! Thank you for the 43 whole years! First name... I am John Hotel. Yes. Gonna get a perfect hotel salt score. It's gonna be so good. Do I want to play the tutorial? I just did. <laughs> John's service. That's what I should have did. <laughs> Choose which class I want. Dude, which Final Fantasy job do I want? I guess we should just go from left to right. <laughs> Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Morning, thank you for the follow. Yeah, go Dark Knight. Which of these is Dark Knight? Yo, Devon! Did I know when this game was out, failure to bake the evening cookies was ground for immediate Welcome firing? I believe zone. you. Get ready. Lumberjacks, and thank you for the follow. Food and beverages, Dark Knight? You got it. Here I go. <laughs> We're just in. It's 6 a.m. Hello, sir. Who the hell are you? Talk to. Hello, I'll be your greeter this morning. You dubstep. You should obviously play Oathbreaker, Union Rep. You're probably right. All guests must first be greeted. I can handle that part while I'm around, but if I'm not here, you'll need to make sure to greet the guests. Oh no, there's no way to turn it down. There's no way to say this is bullshit, I quit. All right, you got it. You got it, sir. You know, I'm not even gonna say thank you. I'm gonna say okay. The guests may then help him or herself to the buffet and then you can go directly to their seat. Once seated, you'll greet our guests and bring them coffee from the coffee maker. Shortly after, you'll bring them their food. I will absolutely not remember any of this. You're gonna get some cold-ass coffee, my guy. Refill their coffee if it ever gets low while they're eating. You got it. You got it, sir. I'm on it, sir. Right away, sir. Huh. Oh, people are already sitting down. Hello. Hello, human. Hello, sir. <laughs> smile. <laughs> smile, no words. <laughs> I don't think you like that. I wasn't done smiling at you. Get back here. <laughs> he hates it. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing today? Great, thank you for asking. Smile. Oh, dude, cookies, yes! Where'd that guy go? Would you like this cookie I found? Good morning, welcome to the Great American Grill. When was this name established? My name is John, and I'll be serving your table today. No. No, 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 I have to give him coffee. Good morning, my name's John. May I get you more coffee? Are you our server? No. I apologize. My name is John, and I'll be serving your table. Would you like more coffee? Yes, please. Have you had a chance to order your breakfast from our chef? No. 
I'll be happy to take your order. It'd be great if you could order some eggs for me. Let's see. You can help yourself to the cold buffet while you wait for your eggs. How would you like your eggs cooked? Our chef can cook them any way you like, or I could get you one of our other hot items, such as pancakes or waffles. Yeah, that's the one. Actually, I'm in the mood for a waffle. I'm glad you mentioned it. Oh, there's no smile button. Yeah, we gotta upsell. Great choice, it's my favorite. Wow, I am so glad I stayed here for breakfast. Thank you. <laughs> Two stars, let's fucking go. I did it. I'm so fucking nice at this game. Take pot of coffee. Would you like the pot of coffee? Hello again, I have one regular coffee for you, Mr. Price. Oh, we did it! You're welcome, I'll bring you your food in a minute. Hello, miss. Yeah, uh, welcome, to the, welcome to the Great American Grill. That's me, that's me, I'm the Hilton Garden CEO. Welcome, new guy. We here at Hilton Garden value hard workers who are able to adapt on the fly. Yeah. In fact, we have a situation on floor five. Take this shotgun and deal with it. Okay. And if you're ever in trouble, call Mystery Mike downstairs. He'll know what to do. <laughs> Mystery Mike, you got it. Thank you. Thank you, John, CEO. Would you like the pancakes or the waffles instead, sir? Damn, another waffle. Another waffle upsell. I'll put your order in. Should I go pick it up in a few minutes? I'm sorry, I'll put your order in and bring your food over shortly. You can help yourself to the cold buffet while you wait for your cook to order item. You got it, three stars. Damn, I'm kind of nice at this. I found some trash, but I cannot collect the trash. I have to put the coffee pot down to pick up the trash. I've taken their orders. And I have yet to actually talk to the chef. Drop off dishes? I ain't got no dishes. Access computer? Place order. Mr. Price wanted a... Oh, I see. We just hit place order and it places it. I guess that's all we had to do. Oh shit, there's more people sitting down. Yeah, we're not checking the dates on the creamer. This is a disaster. Good morning. Hi, can you find our server, please? <laughs> yeah, I'll go find him. He must be in the back somewhere. I don't know where he is. I'm sorry. You want coffee? You got it. Great. Pick all the short ones. Be very non-social. in some trash. He's cracked. Yo, thank you, Scoliotage. Should we pick up our food from the chef? I'll check on your order. Bring your food over shortly. How can we order some food from the cold buffet? You don't. Die. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, thank you. Excellent. I'll be right back with your food. I got some broken stars for that. Oh, no. Salt go down. Hold on. You needed coffee. I cannot collect the coffee because I'm still holding the trash. I only have two hands. I'm over encumbered. These are very realistic customers, HTH. Yeah, I agree. Our right, trash has been thrown away. We now have inventory space for coffee. Hello, miss. There's your coffee. Actually, yes. Do you know how far is the mall? I'm sorry, miss. There is no mall. There's only the Hilton Garden Inn. TM. I'm sorry, but I'm new here and I'm not sure where the mall is. I'll bring your food in a minute. Oh, no. She hated it. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Yo, Agnini Rith. I probably didn't say that right, but thank you. Yeah, Maul's gone. That dates this game quite nicely. Restock everything. Let's go. Yeah, my hotel salt. 
Gotta restock the buffet and shit. I feel so employed right now, dude. Nah, I haven't given anyone their food. I'm thinking they might just starve and die. Oh, <gasps> check the back! Remember to answer phones before the caller hangs up, even if you have to put your other conversations on hold. Remember to greet guests in the food and beverage mode if the greeter is not present. Always acknowledge guests in the hotel. Well, you got it. I cannot collect this trash. I'm still holding the coffee. I have to drop off the coffee and the cookie, because the cookie does not seem useful in any way. I think the coffee... Or, I think the cookie is bait, and that doesn't do anything. I think it's a trap. I don't think it's supposed to do anything. That's all right. Those people don't need to eat. Right? I haven't met the chef. I mean, we haven't seen a chef anywhere, so I don't know who... I don't know where we're supposed to be getting this food from. It's a mystery. <laughs> yeah, do you like hot fudge sundaes? <laughs> You've been waiting here a while. Let me, I'd like to add your order to the list of orders I haven't, you know, <laughs> fulfilled yet. Good morning. No. Can I get you some coffee? Are you our server? Yeah, it's me. Have you had a chance to order breakfast from our chef? No, I'll be happy to take your order. It'd be great if you could order some eggs for me. I'm gonna upsell to the pancakes and waffles again. Actually, I am in the mood for a waffle. I'm glad you mentioned it. You got it. I'll put your order in. Bring your food over shortly. Help yourself to the cold buffet while you wait for your cook-to-order item. You got it. Damn, I'm kind of nice. Nobody wants the eggs, it seems, yeah. Absolutely nobody. Nobody... I don't have an order to place. Oh, here's the order. <laughs> it shows the temperature, it's all cold. Here you go. I don't even think that's the right one. I got your food, probably. <laughs> yeah, we gotta watch out for the temp. Here is your meal. Looks great, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, sir. One star. Let's grab the let's grab the rest of that food. Yeah, we lost salt. We will never recover from this. I don't know, I think I'm crushing it. So now we know where the food goes. Oh no, it's all steaming cold. That's just not how those words work. Wait! I got both orders! I got two! I did it. That's not your food. Is this your food? Here is your waffle, miss. I like that the customer gauge went down when I gave her that. I'll be back in a few minutes to see how you're doing. Yeah, steaming cold. Hello, sir. You're shaped. <laughs> Smile. I'm just kidding. I'm just, how are you doing today? Have a good afternoon. It is 8 a.m. I don't know. I think I'm crushing it so far. The lady in the blue left. She is gone. She's gone. She was here. She left trash behind. We kept her waiting for so long, she just left. This is gonna look really bad. It's gonna look really bad on our report card later. This is a training employee program, yes. Is a trash can behind the food counter? No, I don't believe you. Gotta restock the snacks. Pick up more trash. This is as fast as we can rotate, by the way. 
We cannot rotate faster than this. This is our maximum turn speed. I think you might turn faster in Kingsfield. Great American Grill, my name is John and I'll be serving your table today. Would you like more coffee or anything else? Yes, please. Have you had a chance to order breakfast yet? I'll be happy to take your order. How would you like your eggs cooked, sir? Two eggs over easy. Would you like any sides with your eggs? I would love some potatoes on the side. You got it. Five stars! Damn, I'm good! What did you order again? Oh, you wanted coffee. That's right. Here you go. Have a coffee. Just take the whole pot, I don't give a shit. It's my first day. Ah, there we go, I figured it out. Let's see. Where'd that food? The food has not been made yet. I think I have to put the order in, right? There it is. USPS trains its drivers to only turn right. I believe Hilton it. Hilton trains employees to turn two degrees a second. I mean, it's gotta be true. I did it. I delivered a hot meal. Oh! I've done it. Yeah, dump the coffee pot on the patron. I wish. Y'all, Timo. I travel a lot for work and often stay at Hilton Garden Inns as I like the convenience of an on-site restaurant. Most of my trips are of the solo female traveler variety. Mm -hmm. Often, especially the first night of a trip, I just want something simple and easy before I get my bearings, mm -hmm. and I'm usually weary from the overall glamour of travel, don't you know? Virginia W, two stars. Two stars, <laughs> thank you for that, thank you for the 100 reviews. Oh, we gotta print the check, that's right. There we go. Smile. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 smiles. Here's your check. Wait, I didn't get the check. I printed it, where'd it go? There you are. Aha! Oh, I'm learning, chat. I'm gonna get so fucking nice at this game. Place check on table, no words. Negative two stars. You are still eating and are not receptive to communication. Yes, I'll get your check. Oh no, she hates it. <clears throat> I think we're doing all right, yeah. Print check. Here we are. Here's your check. Let me know when you're ready to settle it. Thank you. We'll be ready in a few minutes. I'll be right back to pick it up. Perfect. There we go. Excuse me, Mr. Reynolds. Here's your meal. <laughs> Just leave. From the stream title, I was expecting something like a cook, serve, delicious, mm -hmm. but damn, this is something Dieno can put on a resume. I know, that's that's the plan. We're gonna... We're gonna apply... We're gonna apply for a job at the Hilton Garden Inn. And I'm just gonna submit this VOD as my resume. And I'm gonna see if it works. That's the plan. What if they're like, you know what, fair enough. Where was that other trash? There was another trash around here. We'll never know. There was definitely somebody left more trash around here. I wanted to pick it all up in one go. No, I don't think there's any other trash lying around. 
Yeah, I gotta optimize the trash route and collect it all. It only counts as one inventory slot. Can I pester you while you're eating, sir? Those are some good, uh, that's good JPEG toast you've got. To Jordan the Kitty! Thank you for the three whole years. I will be right back with your check, miss. <laughs> Why do they not like that? There are no other dialogue options when they ask for the check. I just bring them the check. Here you go. How has SALT succeeded for so long? By understanding the importance of guest experiences and loyalty for business growth. Mm -hmm. In fact, the company has found that promoters spend 58% more than detractors within a specific brand, and 21% more across all brands. I believe it. These results demonstrate that great experiences can have a significant impact on revenue. I mean, yeah, if somebody enjoys their time there, they'll probably leave a good review. I will steal your plate. I, I'm take your plate. Give it to me. Give me all your shit. It's mine now. Give me. Hand it over. So I gotta take the plates over here. Yeah. Drop off dishes. Print receipt. Where did the receipt go? Or am I, or am I holding it? Here's your receipt. Have a great day. We look forward to seeing you soon. Here, give me your give me your card. I will print these receipts. I can only hold one at a time. No, no. Eh. Eh. <laughs> there we go. Dude, I want to be so fucking good at this job. Oh, that's right. I see, I see. Now I understand why they don't like when they ask me. <clears throat> it's because they just leave the card on the table, and I'm supposed to just, like, handle that? Got it. Yeah, slide all the dishes under the door. There you go. Breakfast is over when I like to proceed to dinner. I'm still alive, am I? I feel like my hotel salt score is still pretty good. I can't believe we're learning. Yeah, I'll continue to dinner. It is now 5 p.m. Let's pick up some trash before people sit down. There we go. Do some early game trash collecting. We're gonna need these resources later on. Yeah, no, we gotta work really late hours. It's fucked up. You look familiar. You came back, have you? You enjoyed your cold eggs? What am I controlling with? So the left stick moves the camera, yeah? And the face buttons move the character. It's it's Turok controls on the N64. Yeah, this game is surprisingly difficult to control. Welcome to Great American Grill. I'll be serving your table. Would you like coffee or some shit? Yo, Ultimo. Sorry the cook called in. <clears throat> we will need you to push the cold buffet. TH <laughs> Yeah, probably. Our special tonight's the New York Strip Steak, a USDA choice cut. Can I interest you in any appetizers tonight? No, thank you. I'll need a few minutes with the menu. Certainly, ma'am. I'll be back in a few minutes to take your order. Yeah, you got it. Would you like a coffee? Eh. 
It's so hard to, like, move in this game. She did not want coffee. I will put the coffee back down. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait till you sit down. I'm gonna frame one, ask you. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, pick a seat. Go ahead. Been waiting, bitch. What's your order? Would you like some coffee? Would you like any appetizers? No, thank you. I'll need a few minutes with the menu. You got it. Let me get that coffee for you, sir. Our 2009, an end of era. The vibe was different back then. <laughs> Extremely. I cannot give you the coffee. I guess that they have to finish their order first. Hold that thought. There was ort. Let me check the ort. Oh, I love this. Hold on. Uh, where's my web uh, browser? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dragon Cat Man. For the incredible, the incredible waiter artwork. It's perfect. He's just a little guy. Yeah, this is great. I'm a big fan. Dragon Cat Man does very good art all the time. Yeah, he served the coldest eggs you've ever seen. I, love it. I, love it. I would trust this guy to take my order. It'd probably mostly get there intact. It probably wouldn't be... It probably wouldn't be room temperature or even lukewarm, but... You know, it'd probably be edible. That's all I can hope for is when I order food that it's edible. Have I seen the new Saga news? I have. I have been inundated with people telling me about the Saga news, I assure you. Have you decided on your order yet, ma'am? I'll have the chicken fiesta salad with no jalapenos, please. You got it. May I get you anything else while you wait? No, thank you. That'll be all. You got it. I'll be back soon with your coffee. Bitch, I'm already holding the coffee. Take the coffee. Damn, I'm good. You. What's your order? Would you like coffee? You got it. They need more time with the menu. We're dropping frames. This is the funniest possible game to drop frames on. This might be the funniest game of all time to drop frames on. Have you decided on your order yet, sir? How are the fish and chips? They're okay. They're all right. Yeah, I'll go with that. Thank you. Perfect. I put those orders in. They're all right. I wouldn't order that personally, but you do you. That's all right. Yeah, mid and chips. I don't know. I, I simply wouldn't. Wait, I can't grab both of those unless I put the coffee down. Eh. Put that down. But I can dual wield plates. I gotta slowly lurch back over to the tables. This isn't your food. That's not your food. Whose food am I holding? I'm holding somebody's food. I'm not holding any of these people's food. I don't think I can give them their food until I give them the coffee they want. I probably gotta put one of these down. Maybe it's my food, it's you might be right. Trying to figure out Futter Broken in this game that emulation is a chore. Mm-hmm.
Yo, Mr. Tyler, thank you for the five whole years. Ultimo, thank you for the 100 bits. I have a coffee for you. There's your coffee. I'll bring you your food in a minute. There's your food. Aha! I've done it. I figured out whose food I'm holding. <gasps> the phone's ringing! Where is the phone? I'm gonna find that phone. It's around here somewhere. Aha! Food and beverage? This is John. How may I help you? Hi, I'd like to order room service. Am I speaking to Miss Jackson? Yes. Our kitchen's closing soon, so you need to order in the next five minutes, Miss Jackson. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think that was true at all. I think she just got pissed. Do you have any special preparation requests, or would you like special condiments? Just some ranch dressing on the salad. Sure, I'll be happy to do that. Would you like anything to drink or something for dessert? I'd love a piece of chocolate cake. I'll put your garden salad with ranch dressing in and deliver it to your room with a slice of chocolate cake. Is that accurate? Yes, you got it right. Thank you, Miss Jackson. I'll be there with your food in about 15 minutes. I will absolutely not be there in about 15 minutes. I will not remember any of that. I'm sorry to say. Yo, it's a Pac-Man fan. I'm still holding a coffee. Did any of you want coffee? Some of these people are going to get very upset. These people are going to be pissed that I have not delivered their food yet. There's still an extremely cold uh, plate of food. Play this based on the in-game clock, yeah. Now, here's what I'm imagining. I'm trying to imagine somebody trying desperately to, like, even play this game and get a good score so it looks good on their, like, on their application or whatever. But the game's controls are so jank that it's like, even somebody who plays video games, it's like, it's weirdly difficult. Put the coffee down. Yeah, it's a video-ass game right here. Still waiting on my frames to stabilize. That's all right. I'm sure it'll sort itself out soon enough. Here's your meal. Do you need anything else, ma'am? I think I have everything you need. Or I think I have everything I need. You got it. My hotel salt is not looking so good. They're not super pleased with my performance. When is my shift over? <gasps> phone! Phone. Gotta answer the phone. Eh. Food and beverage? This is John. How may I help you? Hi, I'd like to order room service. Our kitchen's closing soon. No, 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 no. Would you be interested to hear about today's specials, Miss Jackson? Uh, I'd like to order the garden salad. Yeah, you got it. Just order another salad. Ranch dressing on the salad. This seems familiar, yeah. And a piece of chocolate cake? Wow. I'll be there with your food in 15 minutes. We got five stars for that. Print the check. I have a check. Let me figure out whose check this is. Is this your check, sir? There you go. Place check on table, no words. Yeah, take it. Give me your shit. It's mine now. That was the same caller ordering the same meal, yeah. You are not allowed to press more than one movement button at the same time. So the face buttons are to move in this game. 
But you are not allowed to, for example, press triangle to move up and square to move left at the same time. You have to zigzag if you want to go diagonally like this. <laughs> Hello, sir. Back for more food, are you? Go ahead. Go ahead, I'll wait. I'm gonna frame one, ask you what you want. You smell nice. Go ahead. I <laughs> just say good evening, that's it. Sup? Hi, can you find our server, please? Yeah, I'll go find him, don't worry. He's around here somewhere. Uh... Yeah, I don't see any employees here either. No, I'm sure you'll be fine. You can find your way out of this hotel somehow. I'm gonna preemptively, I'm gonna make the read that you want coffee. Check this out. Would you like some coffee, sir? Yes, please. Our, our special tonight's the New York strip steak. Could I interest you in any appetizers? Oh, you got it. Here's your coffee. I cannot give him the coffee until he decides on his order. I'm gonna wait two minutes. What are you looking at? You're looking at the Hilton Garden Inn's employee training program for the PSP. I'll go with the special. Done medium well. I'm sorry. You want a steak done medium well? Would you like fresh vegetables, a baked potato, or french fries? A baked potato, thank you. Be back shortly with your order. Yeah, here's your coffee. Is there anything else I can help you with? All right, you got it. Here, let me get, let me, let me get your food. Yeah, he wants it medium well. I don't know about this guy. I don't trust anyone who's getting their shit medium well. Place order. And that produces the food over here. There we go. Let me deliver that ASAP. So that I don't get fired. Here is your meal, sir. Looks great, thank you. I'll be back in a few minutes to see how you're doing. I will be back. You better not leave. I'll be- I'll be- I can just watch you eat. Go ahead. <coughs> I can judge your technique. You don't have a fork, sir. Would- do you need a fork? I think they're- the silverware's in the- it's in the napkin. You have to unwrap it, sir. That's okay. That's- it's fine. It's- he'll be alright. <gasps> Phone! He'll be okay. Food and Bev, this is John. How may I help you? Hi, I'd like to order room service. Am I speaking to Miss Jefferson? Yes. Our kitchen's closing soon. You need to order in the next five minutes. Oh, the customer gauge goes down. I'd like to order a filet of salmon. I'm not sure the chef will have enough time to put together this dish. Do you mind if you order the filet Alfredo instead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's press that one. No, thank you. I'll be happy to do that. Would you like anything to drink or something for dessert? A bottle of water, please. I will put your order of salmon and deliver it to your room 100 with a bottle of water. Is that accurate? You got it. Minus five stars. Here's your check. Give me your shit. Give me your plate. Give me your card. You're never getting this card back. I'm gonna put it in the fucking trash. Print receipt. Wait. Wait, the plates go, uh... The plates go... What I learned in... What I learned in school was... Ah, shit. They don't go over here. Here you go. There's your receipt. Have a good day. Two stars.
You're back! You're a tall boy! You're so much taller than me! Where the hell did I put the plates? I've already forgotten. Oh no, I go to the door, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's where we do it. Yo, dead kid, thank you for the three whole years! wearing one foot lifts. It's gotta be. Give me your plate. It's mine now. Do you want this plate? Would you like a coffee? Yes, please. Yes. I have a coffee for you. Let me grab... I'm gonna grab the left coffee, which is ostensibly different in some critical way. ...that the game hasn't told me. I can't give him the coffee yet. He has to place an order. I'm learning... I'm learning so much. Food and Bev, this is John, I'm gonna help you. I'd like to order room service. Are you the... Are you, do you want more salmon? No, I already know what I want. If you do not have any questions about the menu, I'll be happy to take your order. I'd like to order the filet of salmon. Yeah, this sounds very familiar. That's all right. Yeah, bottle of water. Yeah, I got it. Five stars, somehow. I'm thinking this place is woefully understaffed, yeah. I'm feeling like, uh... Feeling like we gotta do everything in this damn house. I never even took her order. The fish and chips are pretty good. That's the end of the conversation. Well, I'll go with that. Thank you. I'm the only employee here. There's more people! Yeah, the fish and chips are kind of bussin'. I don't think they're gonna... I don't think that's gonna go very well. Here you go, here's your check. Give me your shit. <clears throat> yeah, it's 10 p.m. And yet... Uh oh, she left without placing an order! Two stars. I'm, I don't know, I'm kinda nice at this. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, coffee, that's right! Wait, I'm already holding a coffee. Wait a minute. I have a coffee in my right hand. Here's your coffee. What are you ordering? Can I call a taxi from the front desk? It'll just be- it'll just be one moment for your food, sir. Don't worry, I got it. Please don't leave. Please don't. Ah, shit, dude. Yeah, let's place that order. I have a plate of food. I don't know who it belongs to. Is this your food? No, that's not your food. Hold on. I'll be with you in a minute, sir. I don't think we're gonna get hired, y'all. Here's your meal. Excellent. Yo, Ereviv! Thank you for 31 whole years. Yeah, what's your order? Do you want coffee? You got it. Place your order. Damn, he's back. Can we give food to the wrong customer? No, it has not allowed us to yet. I wish I could. The Mobley Burger. Certainly, sir. How would you like that cooked? Medium rare, thank you. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I got you. Now you're speaking my language. Direct co-worker to deliver room service. Oh, that's right. 
We were supposed to do this hours ago. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Just, I mean, as long as they're still alive when you get there. <clears throat> Let's see. Knock and announce room service. Use guest's name and greeting. Ask where to place the tray. Offer to remove caps and covers and pour beverages. Review the order. Advise about tray removal. Point out the tray removal card. Present check-in folder with pen. Remove trays from corridor within one hour. I'll remember none of that. Absolutely zilch. Here's a food. I have a food. Don't remember whose food this is. It's not you. You have a plate. Is this your food? Here's your coffee. Is this your food? No, it's not your food. Hold on. It's definitely not your food. Oh, no, it is his. There you go. One star. Excellent. Yeah, these guys made a bunch of different games. They made uh, they made one for the army. They made a combat medic game. Presumably to train combat medics. They made a bunch of weird things. This is the only one that's for PSP, though. Do you... Blink? At any point? No? Okay. That's, yeah. That's how I'd look if I worked here. I'm with you, buddy. Give me your plate. It's mine now. I'm never giving it back. Have you decided on your order yet, sir? I'm gonna have the Philly cheesesteak! Let's fucking go! Can I get that with no onions? You got it. You got it, sir. Philly cheesesteak. That's my man right there. Absolutely love to see it. I gotta put the coffee down. I gotta put the plate down. Dinner is over. Would you like to keep playing? I mean, I would, but we gotta check out the other roles. <coughs> there were four different uh, parts of this video game. We have to look at all of them. Dinner is over. So I guess he's never going to get his food. My hotel salt was 54%. My brand score was 70%. Where I'm from, 54% is not a passing grade. So I don't think... I don't think we're going to get hired. <laughs> Oh, it's back to the main menu. You got it. Damn, it boots me all the way out. My money. Attention. We're getting a visit from none other than Geese Howard today. Yeah. You need to make sure that his room is on the highest floor, as well as it is decorated with Japanese artifacts, and that any member of the Bogard family is shot on sight. <laughs> True. Load an existing player profile. Yeah, we've got Dino Please, where I was making sure the game worked. But we've got John Hotel. It's our character. I don't know, I think we're well on our way to getting hired by the Hilton Garden Inn. Let's try housekeeping. This is gonna be good. Whoa. Okay. How do I housekeep? Where are the rooms? This floor is so dirty! Oh god! Access phone. Call pantry for restock. This is John from the front desk. The pantry needs to be refilled, probably. Right away, thank you for informing me. How did those footprints get there? It's from all the people that ordered food yesterday. I don't suppose we got, like, a like a mop in here somewhere. Oh, look at all this garbage, dude. Oh, not like this. Jeez. 
check back room. No, no, no. That's exactly what we're playing. Yes, Pyronoid. Task list? How do I check it? You. Come here. <laughs> Smile. Okay, let's try that again. Hello. No, no, no. Hello, how are you doing today? Great, thanks for asking. Have a good morning. All right, I'm in. I'm in, let's do some housekeeping. We gotta figure out how to do some housekeeping. Which of these rooms open? Reveal to me your secrets, Hilton Garden Inn. Housekeeping! How many times do I knock before before I'm allowed to open it? I have no reservations about staying at this hotel for I'm quite high independent. John Hotel gives excellent reception. How did those footprints get on the floor? Your guest is as good as mine. Hopefully I have enough points to earn a free Wi-Fi upgrade. Somebody shoot that guy. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you for the 100 hotels. I have to knock three times. Yeah, we got minus five stars because we knocked and then just went in. Open drawer. No. Is there anything else to clean in here? Turn off the lamp. Open the curtains. Okay. I think that's everything. Doesn't seem to be anything else. Open fridge. Close fridge. I'm gonna housekeep this shit so good, you have no idea. Clean bathroom. I've done it. Open shower curtain. Is that supposed to be open? Am I meant to open that? That feels right. Am I finished working this room? Yes. However, great job, however, this room was not on your task list. Okay, curtains. Check the room more closely. The result of missed items is a lower salt score from the next guest that will check into this room. I cannot tell if this video game is a power wash simulator clone, a cook, serve, delicious clone, or papers please clone. I will have to confer with the counsel of Roger Wilco, John Monster Hunter, and Mika Slayton on this matter. There is a secret third option, Reg. And that is to simply accept that a game needn't be a clone of another game. But I understand that's an impossible concept. Housekeeping! How many times do I knock? Housekeeping? I'm in here, come back later. You got it. Nah, I'm coming in. Go away or I'm calling the front desk! I'm really sorry, I'll come back later. I'm sorry, just- Sorry! So, hey, we got one star. That's fine. I tried to- I tried to break and enter. Housekeeping? Housekeeping. Okay, it's three knocks. You gotta knock three times. Clean room. Remove from room. Open drawer. Am I supposed to leave the drawers open? Is that correct? Are the curtains supposed to be open or closed? Half? Full. Closed? One of these is right, I'm sure. <gasps> wow. It's the game we're playing. It's on the TV. Half? That sounds right. I'll leave that on half. Pop a Bible in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna leave the fridge open. It's, uh, it's, it's for air conditioning. Don't worry.
open shower curtain. Oh no! Clog the toilet? You're right. Thermostat? <clears throat> You're telling me I was meant to be looking for the fucking thermostat in here? I don't think there was a thermostat issue. I think it's just I left the fridge open. Which in turn made it cold. I do not have a button that checks my... Aha, there it is. I've located my task list. It's on the D-pad. Room 109. Where would room 109 be? Let's find it. We're gonna figure this out as a team. Yo, gear strike! Oh my god, this floor! Gear strike, thank you for the 21 whole years. <gasps> Yes! 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 Oh, dude, this game is sick! <laughs> I should be doing this at 1 a.m., you're right. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Ah! It's a ghost vacuum. It can penetrate through walls. That is correct, Miskmer. You are you are correct. Where is room 109? It's farther down. It was right next to the vacuum. There we are. Room 109. Vacant and dirty. If it's vacant, I can just go in, yeah? But I must knock three times. <laughs> knock three times, leave. Alright. Clean room. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get a perfect score in this room. I'm gonna feel so accomplished. Turn off lamp. Empty drawer. Okay. Is there any other bullshit I gotta remember? Gotta leave the thing on the bed, presumably. Turn off the lamp. Yeah, they left free loot in the drawers. We can just take it. Adjust thermostat. 69 degrees! Excellent. Bruh, what is the towel situation? <coughs> what the hell happened here? Closet. Hangers are good. Everything seems to be in order. Fridge. Close all the doors. Let's see how we did. Great job. However, don't forget the following next time. Trash toilet paper. I didn't see any trash. I'll take your word for it. It's clean, though, apparently. The Fu Man Goo. You're right, we should reenact the shining in this hallway. Hello? <gasps> Housekeeping! I'm coming in. No, I'm coming in. Housekeeping! Go away, or I'm calling the front desk. Alright, I'm sorry, sir. You got- you're, you're absolutely right. I didn't mean... 
didn't mean to offend. Let's go to 107. Yo, what's up, Baines? Three knocks. Four knocks. Five knocks. Okay. It does not seem to penalize me for over-knocking. That's good news. Put away the ironing board. I have a confession to make, chat room. I'm quite enjoying this. There's something very therapeutic about this video game. <laughs> I think this propaganda is working. Thermostat. It's already at 69 degrees. Yeah, we're gonna have to quit streaming to work at the Hilton Garden Inn. I'm sure it's just like this. Right? If there's anyone that has any experience from, from working at the Hilton Garden Inn, feel free to tell me whether, if, whether or not this is one-to-one -one accurate with actually working there. I'm sure it's exactly right. Empty trash, that's what I couldn't find before. I've- I, I'm stuck. Door stuck. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, it's because of the shower curtain. So I gotta leave the shower open then, huh? Is that correct? because I think I closed it. 105. No, you're 106. Clean room. Looks like it does a lot of it automatically just when we hit the clean room button. Yeah, we're getting good at the knocking. Expert door knocker. There's never anything in the fridge. Not one time so far has there been anything in the fridge. 85 degrees in here! Who the fuck? Ooh, that's not a livable temp. Who would willingly? Yeah, not the not the sauna hotel. Who would do that? It's ninety four there. You hated. Yeah, I mean that's pretty. It's pretty rough. I can sympathize. That feels like a job well done. A perfect score. Iron! I forgot the iron. I forgot to put the iron away. It's always something. Where are we going? Room 108. <clears throat> That's back the way we came. This away. It's too stressful, I agree. Even just basic locomotion in this game is difficult due to the back-ass-words concept of 
left hand to look, right hand to move. Yeah, it's got Turok controls. Yeah, cleaning rooms the customer is going to keep staying in. I don't think that's come up yet. There's nothing in the trash. Restock toiletries, that I can do. I cannot flush the toiler. I mean, presumably, this is your maximum turn speed if you work at the Hilton Garden Inn, right? It's probably about as fast as you can go. The entire building is in a hundred times gravity. Perfect! No item was left unclean! I've done it! I'm so fucking nice at this. Thank you. Oh my god, they're gonna hire me. I'm gonna get hired. Where is 102? Where? 105? 106? It's in the Five middle, stars, right? Motherfucker count M. Hell yeah. 100, 101. Where is 102? There you are. Dude, my hotel salt is so high right now. This game has only got like three musical tracks. But they're all kind of a bop. So I can't complain. Empty the fridge. Finally, there was something in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, it's got those Weather Channel type beats. That is correct, Broto Common. We're playing an employee training program developed for the PSP for reasons beyond my comprehension and perhaps beyond anyone's comprehension. So presumably by the end of this stream, we're all going to get hired. A oh, perfect score, yes! Where to next? 116. <laughs> you could probably submit this VOD as your resume, yeah. Where is 116? <laughs> is it back to the elevator? Oh, I see. It's over here. Yeah, my hotel salt is going up. Love a good salty hotel. Put away... Okay. Throw away the garbage. feels surreal. It's not remotely the only employee training video game, I assure you. There's more of them than you might realize. Light? Was there? Oh shit, you're right! Good looking out, chat. That's why we hired you. That's why we pay you the big bucks. Toilet on 
the towel on floor. I cannot reach. Eh. Eh. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, you're all getting paid. Please wait, uh... Six to twelve years for your check to arrive. Ah, the bed. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> How did I miss the bed? I did not do the toilet paper or the refrigerator. All right, understood. Yeah, was that your house? You did a number on the place. Hello, sir. End conversation. There he goes. 103 and 112. <clears throat> what happens when we do all the rooms? One hundred three would be this one. No, it's one hundred one. One hundred three. This one. Yeah. There you are. Yeah, hotel carpet this tacky. I think every hotel I've ever been in has had a tacky carpet. This one, I would say, is pretty, pretty up there in terms of tackiness. It's like a... It's, I'd find this carpet in, like, a bowling alley, right? <laughs> Your bowling alleys have carpets. I think so. Does you do yours not? Yeah, the bowling lanes themselves have carpet. It's yeah, that's all it's all part of it. Toilet paper is fine. Yeah, no, directly in the lane, yeah. Place hangers. Excellent. I feel that's a perfect score. Remote! It's always something. It's always, it's always something. Room 112, here I go. Remote. Forgot the remote. Unbelievable. If you work here, you gotta have meticulous attention to detail. <clears throat> Do people just steal hangers? I'm assuming so. Right? Clean the coffee pot. Yeah, later rooms in this you just pixel hunt. I assume that's gonna I assume that's the new game plus difficulty. Guess he wasn't meant for remote work. Somebody shoot that somebody shoot that person. Thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> that's an awfully clean coffee pot. <laughs> I can't think of a funnier lyric than that's an awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> There's something about it. 
I'm getting worryingly good at cleaning hotel rooms. You think I'm joking with this stream, right? 70 bits, oh boy. Yo, Ultimo, thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. You think that this stream is a big dumb meme? I see you over there. But you better believe I'm submitting this as my resume. Like, for real. You better believe. I know, next time I go to a hotel, I'm gonna start, like, telling the employees that, like, hey, you could've did this better. You're not gonna get a perfect salt score if, like, that's how you cleaned this room. Like, you obviously forgot to fix the thermostat. You're supposed to leave it exactly at 69 degrees. Perfect room, yes! Today's stream is comfy. Yeah, it's a pretty comfy stream. I've completed all of my tasks. I've done it. Yo, Sayara. Thank you for cleaning, but you forgot the remote. Ah, shit. So it's always the remote, isn't it? Hey, there we go. 89% salt. Scolionage. The next one is definitely D no real life stream going into a Hilton and talking mad shit. Yeah, we're gonna do an IRL stream. I'm gonna walk right into a Hilton Guardian. <coughs> and I'm gonna be like, I bet I could work here. Did you play Hilton Garden in Ultimate Team Play for the PSP? I'll say to the clerk. And I'll scoff at them and be like, of course you didn't. But I did. I should be here, not you. Yo, Danny! Yo! It's $5, go buy some game. You are becoming brainwashed, baby girl. I don't know what you mean, Danny. All I see is a commitment to cleanliness, right? You just want to get those salt scores up. There's something weirdly therapeutic about getting your, your hotel salt as high as it goes. <laughs> yeah, do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, dude, could you imagine if we could play as a guest? Yeah, let's load. Uh, John Hotel. Guest service. Are these the characters we're playing as while we do this, by the way? <laughs> like, is this... Like, I assume these are real employees at the time that they just got a picture of, but is that also who we're playing as when we do this? Are there mods for this game? God, I hope so. You know what this game needs? It needs, like, the Resident Evil quick turn. That's what this game really needs. It needs the, the, the classic RE, like, 180 spin. And it needs a dash button. I should be able to double tap forward to dash. That's what... I, if this game had movement tech, it'd be over. This would be the greatest game of all time. Guest service. Oh god, what have I done? I don't know, am I working the- am I working the front desk? Ah, shit, dude. Okay, I'll just throw some- I'll just throw the garbage away. Scolionage. At the Marriott, people always wait dash up with my coffee. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 wave dashes. I don't know if I'm prepared to work the front desk. Oh god, I'm scared. Pre-check-in. They're all pre-check-in, aren't they? Here I go. I'm gonna put them all on pre-check-in. That feels right. Yeah, there's the social interaction part. <laughs> leave the desk? I can't, I'm scared. They'll fire me if I leave. I will grab a cookie. Huh. Huh? Guest service hotline is John. How may I help you, Mr. Price? First of all, how did I work out that it was Mr. Price? 
I've been trying to sleep for a while, but the air conditioning's too loud. I'm sorry, Mr. Price. Would it be okay if we sent engineering to your room to look into the issue? Let's call engineering. Uh, have a good morning, Mr. Price. Please let us know if there's anything else we can do for you. Oh, five stars, yes. <laughs> you. Ah, looking at the snacks, are you? You put a fucking dent in this snack tray. Where'd all these go? You took the whole... It's fine. That's crazy. Yo, Smiler in the dark. Thank you for the eight whole years. Yeah, she took all the... Oh. Did you find everything you needed? I was hoping to find some low-sodium chips, but you don't have any. I'd be happy to have our shuttle driver pick some up for you and deliver them to your room. There are plenty of other options in the pantry. You don't need- you don't look like you need to be having low-sodium chips, ma'am. <coughs> There's plenty of other options around. That's a shame. I really wanted some chips, but I can't eat the salt. I'm sorry, would you like to pay cash or charge the other items to your room? Charge it to room 100. You got it, miss. I don't think she liked that. Whoa. Guest service hotline. The light on my desk is burned out. Your room was inspected this morning. Everything should be working. You're clearly lying to me. The light is not working. It's burned out. Uh, I apologize for the inconvenience. Would it be okay if I send someone with a new light bulb right away? Call engineering. Hopefully it will get fixed soon. Yeah, that's good. That's a good ending line. Do I gotta restock this shit? Apparently not. Apparently it's not empty enough that I can restock it yet. I'll approach you. Come here. Oh, that's right, I have to call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any... <laughs> okay. Good morning. Is there anything I can assist you with? I'm fine, thanks. I'm just waiting for someone. Let me know if you need anything, sir. Oh, five stars. I was rewarded for just talking to a guy loitering. I guess that's one of my roles here, is to... entertain the loiterers. That's okay. Yeah, restock the pantry. <coughs> Never did figure out... Oh, there's my task list. Be helpful and friendly to all guests. Let me put the cookie back. It's not been useful yet. Keep the lobby clean. Communicate problems to the necessary departments. Yeah, going for the snacks, are you? Go ahead. Holy shit! Whatever these things are in the middle, they're very popular around here. I don't know what this other shit is. Must be like Charleston Chew or something that they don't like. I'm sorry, you grabbed the snacks and then checked in? Did you find everything you needed? Yes, thank you. Would you like to pay cash or charge this to your room? Charge it to 103. You got it. Five stars, yes. Excellent. Perfect. Now we gotta restock that shit again. Yeah, our salt is rapidly decreasing. You know what it is? It's because we've got... It's because all the... It's all the salt is in those high-sodium chips we've got. You're going back to the snacks. You were here before... Same ones? Yeah, of course. <laughs> My toilet's overflowing! How did that happen? <laughs> I will just- yeah, how- yeah, how'd that happen? Tell me more. I don't know, just hurry up! I'll send engineering to your room as soon as someone is available. No, no, no. I'll send them right away, sir. 
I apologize, Miss Washington. Engineering's on the way. We'll fix the issue immediately. Have a good morning. Please let us know if there's anything else we can do for you. Four stars. Did you find everything you needed? Yeah, we still got no low-sodium chips, huh? As soon as we get some low-sodium chips, I will let you know. That's a shame. I really wanted some chips, but can't eat the salt. Yo, what's up, Goaty? We're learning how to, uh... We're learning a job today. We're learning... The ins and outs of the Hilton Garden Inn. This is their PSP employee training program. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think they're gonna hire me at this rate. It's not looking... It's not looking good. Yeah, we just call engineering to get us out of any jam. What are you doing? Good morning. Is there anything I can do to assist today? No, thank you. I'm doing fine. Wow, why did the customer gauge go down so far when I did that? If you need anything, sir, I'll be over by the front desk. Okay, thanks. Ah, shit, the phone! I think my sink is leaking. How bad is it? Can't been waiting for tomorrow. I understand your your sink is your sink's leaking, but like we're you're not gonna flood the whole building that way. You can probably it'll it can probably wait. It'll be fine. It can probably wait. We'll be we'll be there uh, by by sunrise. No, that won't work. All right, I apologize for the inconvenience. I'll send someone right away. Just call engineering. This is going well. <laughs> Welcome to the Hilton Garden Inn. My name is John. Now can I help you? I'd like to get a room for the night, please. Do you have a reservation? I do not have a reservation. <laughs> not, uh, I'm not going to say no problems. What is your name? My name is Walter Reynolds. How long will you be here? Just for tonight. What type of room would you like? I just need one bed non-smoking, please. How will you be paying? Go ahead and put it on my card. You got it, sir. Check him in. Here's your key packet. You're in room 112. Is there anything else I can help you with before you go to your room? Ah, oh, you got it. Thank you for choosing Hilton Garden Inn for your stay tonight. Again, my name is John! Please do not hesitate to ask if you need anything. Ah, oh, two stars, yeah! Finally, some validation around here. Going for the snacks again, are you? You gonna take the same ones? Oh, garbage! I spilled a drink on my bed. Can you bring up new sheets? Lamau! No, that's your problem. I apologize for the inconvenience, Miss Wa uh, Washington. If you come to the front desk, you can pick up new linens. You have to meet me halfway to get these. You got. You got to understand. I want to look you in the eye and give you these new linens because I know that you fucked up. I want to see your face. I guess I could change and come downstairs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was just, it was a prank. I'll send someone up with new linens. It's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Did you find everything you needed? Yes, thank you. Would you like to pay cash or charge this to your room? Charge it to 103. You got it. Have a good morning, Miss Ramirez. Five stars. Loitering! Come here. You. Is there anything I can assist you with? No, this is the one. Hey, are you staying here? Why do you want to know? I wanted to make sure you're a registered guest and not just loitering in our lobby. I am, I am a registered guest. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. 
That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. I don't trust those eyes, though. You might be lying to me. I don't trust you one bit. You look like a loiterer. We got negative five stars for that. I don't know. You gotta. You gotta be. You gotta be on guard around here. There's a real loiterer problem in the Hilton Garden Inn. Oh Jesus! What have you done, bruh? That's all the. St it's fine. I'll just call for a restock. Yeah, we need more chips. She took all the chips, dude. Just give me some more chips. MK1 Switch mini games are odd, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Altibo. Did you find everything you needed? I'd like to stress everything, because you took everything. Yes, thank you. Would you like to pay cash or charge it to the room? Yeah, I'll charge it to 107. Nice. What are you doing? What's that about? Yeah? Oh, I see. It's all starting to make sense. My salt score is not looking great. My salt score has been going down steadily. Do you guys have any sugar-free- I'll oh, hold that thought, sir. Hold on, there's a phone call. This phone call's way more important than that bullshit. Hello, this is John. How can I help you, Mr. Ashland? The air conditioning in my room's not working. You're not the first one to call about that. I'll send someone to look at it shortly. Okay, thank you. Please let me know if there's anything else we can do for you. Hi, what were you saying? Something about gum or some bullshit? There are plenty of other options in the pantry. Are you sure you don't want sugar full gum? Are you sure you don't want lots of sugar? That's okay, I can make do with regular gum. Wow, I'm surprised that worked. I'll be happy to have our shovel driver pick, uh, pick some up for you and deliver it to your room. No, no, don't do that. I'll get the regular gum. My pleasure, Mr. Reynolds. How'd you like to pay for the items? I can't believe this worked. This masterful gambit. Charge it to room 112. You got it, sir. I can't believe that worked. Yo, Black Shield Legion, thank you for the 17 whole years. Loiterer! Is there anything I can assist you with today? Nope, just waiting for our ride. All right, if you need anything, I'll be over by the front desk, sir. Can I talk to you from the wrong side of the counter? Hey. Hello, ma'am. Smile! <laughs> yeah, I can see it's fine. I gotta take this phone call. It's more... Yeah, front desk? The air conditioner in my room's not working. Ah, shit. Not again. You know, you're not the first person to call about this. Have a good afternoon. Ah, shit. How can I help you? I'd like to check in, please. Ma'am, I am all alone here. It will take me a few minutes. I don't know if you've noticed, miss. We are crazy understaffed. You think I got time for this bullshit? Anyway, what was your name? I should have a room reserved under Ethel Jefferson. Oh, you got it. Glad you're here, Miss Jefferson. Let me print your keys and get your room set up. Would it be okay if I use this credit card? We got your we got your room ready for you. Here's your key packet. Where is the best place to do some shopping around here? I do not live here. I don't know if you've noticed, I'm crazy lost even in this building, let alone the world outside of it. If you don't know where to do shopping, I for damn sure don't know where to do some shopping. 
That's all right. Eight hours have passed. My shift is over. Would you like to keep playing? I would. But we'll check out the other job. Like, bro, you think I know the area? You're out of your fucking mind. I don't know, use a GPS or some shit. All right, hold on. A poem's been redeemed. We'll check out, uh, we'll check out the last one. We gotta check out engineering. Throw it over to Stampede first. Hey, Stampede. How about a poem? My dream. It takes place in the white room in back. The plaster walls echo sounds. The brown wood floor is cold and solid beneath my brown bare feet. This place was a nursery before. Now it is empty, save the hollow sound of my voice. Thank you, Stampede. It's always the feet poem, isn't it? Frog race as well, you got it. Prepare your new yen. Who do you got? Yo, Black Shield Legion, thank you for the 70 bits. That alert did not trigger. Can I... There it is. Okay. 70 bits. Oh, boy. How do you vote? It should be a channel points prediction. So it should be at the top of the chat. <clears throat> Although it looks like betting time is now over. We mean you may have missed your window. Skeleton. Tell you what, just for you, Griffy Bones, because I like you a lot, we can do a second frog race after this one. Slapped 5k on my frog. No, you got it. Thank you, Black Shield Legion. There was some ort as well. We'll get to the ort. Uh, betting time is over. Pretty evenly split between the four of them. Start the frog race! Where's horse one? Don't worry about it. Oh, Columbo wins! Just barely. I don't know how. No idea how he managed that. Pay it out. <clears throat> Pay it out to Lord Columbo. 309,000 new yen given to 17 people. Congratulations to the 17 of you that have chosen correctly. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. We can do another frog race. Yeskolionage. I'm sick of this, where the fuck is horse three? That's what I'm saying. The Hilton manager is coming? No, 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 we gotta retreat to the frog track. Alright, there we go. We're back, baby. Run it again. Skeleton. You didn't bet on the frog you just bet on that lost. You never know. You never know. Maybe this is his day. Alright. People overwhelmingly in favor of Kralk. I don't blame them. Start the frog race. Oh, wait a minute. Frog number two and three have the, the lead by far. Frog number three gets their fur. Yeah, frog number three wins. Horse two did the impossible. He made it back to the winner's circle. 
after a tragic defeat in the race prior, somehow, Horse 2 prevailed where Horse 1 could not. 472,000 new yen given to 30 people! 30 believers in Horse 2, congratulations to all of you. My condolences to everyone else. You'll get them next time, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for redeeming the frog race. We got some ore as well. It's all cleaning staff. Remove all items when cleaning. Remotes oh, yeah. included. What is the remote procedure? What did we do? Was I supposed to fix the remote? Was I supposed to take Sir, it? I just found out I'm broke and cannot afford this hotel room. I bet it all on Fibo the frog. Yeah. Is there anything you can do to help? You're sending someone to help? No, no, you don't need to send someone. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'm just dying over here. I still have this cough. I got, I, I've been sick for like a full week now. I'm just, damn thing won't go away. Thank you, Brad, for the 100 bits. I have to replace the batteries. I see. That's what I forgot to do. Thank you, Reg, for the ort. Where were we? We have to... We're back in. I'll get over this cough eventually. I did not want to... I didn't want to call off any more streams. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, 54% hotel salt. We've yet to dip below 50, which I guess is okay. <clears throat> load, load John Hotel. You're watching this at your hotel job? Please do not take notes. Uh, the activities uh, represented here on this broadcast are not perhaps indicative of what you should actually be doing in a current day hotel job. The disclaimer. All right, engineering. We got I don't know how to engineer. What do I What are my tasks? Oh god. Task list. Room 116, television, dead remote, lamp out, air conditioner, toilet. This is all the shit that wasn't working earlier. I'm taking a cookie. You can't stop me. I'm taking a cookie with me. I'm not even going to pay for that. It's a that's a that's a work expense that cookie that's Yeah, we could have put it back, but I chose not to. 116. Clean staff, eh? I have been ill for over a week too. It's getting a bit boring. <laughs> Thank you, Black Shield Legion. Engineering! One moment, please. Okay, thank you. Yeah, what's the problem? What's the problem, Don Cheadle? Hello, Mr. Price. My name's John. I came to fix the problem with the TV. Is now a good time for you? Yes, please come in. Thank you. I'll take a look and let you know how long it'll take me to fix it. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Tepid snake. So if we do all four jobs, do we unlock the last story where we find the Chaos Emeralds in someone's bedside drawer? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <coughs> yeah, I will fix it and let you know when I'm done. Repair television. <laughs> I did it. I fixed your television. Uh, it seemed like the problem was you forgot to turn it on. You should be all set now. Uh, the power button's in the corner. It's... <laughs> yeah, just goodbye! I apologize for the inconvenience. You can reach me through the front desk if you need me. Have a great morning. Nah, I'm out of here. See ya. See ya later, nerd. Yeah, I'm done with this room. However, don't forget the following next time. AC unit, you left some items unfixed. Check the room more closely. Oh! Even if the task list only has one item, we still have to check all the shit? It was turned off. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> Hate it here. <gasps> it's my tray. I stole a tray. It's mine now. 
I'll take another one. They're all mine. They're all mine. Those were for housekeeping. I'm never giving them back, dude. Three, here we are. No, I need the trays. Don't worry. It's fine. Trust the process. Hello, Miss Ramirez. My name is John, and I came to fix the dead remote control. It's now a good time for you. Yes, please come in. I will fix it. I'll take a look and let you know how long it'll take me to fix it. You got it. Replace batteries. I've replaced the batteries in the remote. I fixed the problem. You should be all set. Do you mind if I look around for anything else that needs repair? Here we are. Sure, that's fine. I apologize for the inconvenience. You can reach me through the front desk if you need me. Have a great morning. What else do you got that's busted? What else did you break? What if you hid in the bathroom that you broke and were worried that I'd be upset when I saw that it was broke? Girl, what are these towels down here? Yo, Smoking Crow! What is the towel situation? Are there any bodies in the shower? I cannot open the curtain. There might be corpses in there. Smoking Crow, thank for the 11 whole years. There's definitely a corpse in there. Nothing else appears to be broken. It's not the microwave. Not the fridge. Not the TV. AC? No. Lamp? No, I think we're clear. Looks like we're good. Thermostat. 85 degrees? You live like this? You're crazy. I'm out of here. You're out of your mind. Answer two-way radio. John, we just received a call from room 116 about a light bulb being burnt out in their room. Please be sure to replace the bulb as soon as you can. Add it to the task list. Gotta go to 106. Yeah, we got a codec call. This game is fucking sick, dude. I was expecting a, like, a goofy haha -ha meme game that wasn't that interesting, but I'm actually having a lot of fun. Hello, Miss Washington. My name is John, and I came to replace the burned out light. Can you please come back later? I need to make a phone call. It'll only take a second to fix if you don't mind me finishing it now. Uh, you can just talk. I'll just be in the corner. It's fine. I'll just fix the shit. I, I'm sure it's probably... It's, how important is this phone call? It's probably not even that important. I'll just fix the... Would you like to come? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll fix it. I'll let you know when I'm done. You got it. Thanks for letting me just barge in. Wow, miss, you like you got a lot of trash in the trash can. Very, very wasteful so far. I'm not impressed. What was the problem? Lamp is out in this room. I can fix that. We gotta be one of those engineers that's like way too chatty with the person that does not want to talk. <laughs> Alright, we fixed the light. Fix the problem, you should be all set. Everything looks great, thank you. Do you mind if I look around for anything else that needs repair? Sure, that's fine. I thought for sure she'd want to get my ass out of this room. Five stars!
looks like we're clear. Nothing broken. I think we're good. Thermostat. Dear God, why do all of you have it at 85 degrees? Remote? I left some items unfixed. You touched something without permission. I mean, yeah, that's true. What did I not... It's always the damn remote, isn't it? Every time. The AC's broken in 113. Hello, miss. Smile. Wow, this actually is a hello, miss. Hello, end conversation. Saw a mud crab the other day. Horrible creatures. John, we just received a call from 112 who said their toilet was overflowing. Please fix the problem as soon as possible. You got it. I'm on my way. 116 lamp out, 112 toilet. Yeah, uh, 110. I do have something for 110. There's a toilet. Needs fixing. Engineering! One moment, please. Hello, Mr. Ashland. My name's John. I came to fix the clogged toilet. Is now a good time for you? Could you please come back later? I was just about to take a shower. Okay, I will come back later. You got it. I'm not fixing that toilet. You're out of your mind. You think I'm going near a goddamn clogged toilet? This is my first day, dude. You got me fucked up. I ain't fixing shit, bruh. Here's another busted toilet in 112. Engineering! Alright, I'll take a look at your toilet. What did you do to clog your toilet, sir, if you don't mind me asking? Did streamer see it? What did I see? Uh, I, I might not have saw something. Post it again if it was a if it was a thing. Was there or? Alright, you got it. Unclog toilet. Hold that thought. Or. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, the white eyes on the engineer. He's Raiden, dude. The cast of MK1 is just how I remember. Honestly, I main the uh I main the the food and beverages guy. He seems pretty good. Check the uh, refresh chat on stream. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Uh, hold on. Refresh that. I'm sure that'll fix itself at some point. Yeah, there you go. Good looking out, chat. Thank you for the ORT DT. What the hell is this? We're playing Hilton Garden Inn Ultimate Team Play. Hilton Garden Inn is a hotel chain, and they made this video game to train employees with. Can I romance these NPCs? Sadly, no. I'd like to romance this guy. I fixed your, I fixed your toilet. Stop shitting in it so hard. Oh no. Here, I'll fix your TV as uh, as penance. Smile. Yeah, PvP. You touched something without permission. I fixed the TV. 
He didn't want it to be fixed. He went through all the trouble of breaking the TV. And then I went and fixed the damn thing. Unbelievable. Room 113, air conditioner. Gotta get to 113. John, we received a call from 103 about a light bulb being burnt out in their room. Please be sure to replace the bulb as soon as you can. You got it. I kept opening doors. Nah, it's fine. I have, a, uh, I have the engineering badge that says that I can open any of the doors that I want at any time. Hello, Mr. Hernandez. My name is John, and I came to fix the AC. Is now a good time? Could you please come back later? I'm about to make an important phone call. I apologize. I didn't know you were busy. I'll try to come back in about 30 minutes. Now, nah, we're gonna do this shit now. It'll only take a second to fix your AC. Just, uh, just make your important phone call. I'll put, I'll put, I'll put headphones in. It's fine. I'll just, I'll put on some really, I'll put on BFG division. I won't hear a thing, sir. Perfect. Replace light bulb, yeah. I'm gonna touch everything in your room. This hotel has one main agent and yet things are exploding. Mm -hmm. This hotel is cursed. It's definitely a little cursed. I fixed the problem, you should be all set. Everything looks great, thank you. I apologize for the inconvenience. You can reach me through the front desk if you need me. Have a great afternoon. All right. Mess with his mini bar so he gets charged. I touched something without permission. My salt scores in the in the tubes, dude. Room 110, toilet. Got to get to 110. That'd be... Ah, oh shit, it's all the way down the hall, dude. John isn't the best engineer we have, but he is the one with a PSP. He's the only one with a PSP, it's true. Engineering! What was the problem? I've already forgot. Toilet! I came to fix your toilet, sir. No problem, capital P. I've unclogged your toilet. Let me see if there's anything else around here. I fixed the problem. You should be all set. Do you mind if I look around for anything else that needs repair? Sure, that's fine. Hold that thought. What else did you break? AC? No, we're good. Lamp? No. Yeah, there's no smell o vision. The thermostat is at a cool 69 degrees. Ah, oh, great job. No item was left unfixed. Yes! We got a room, we got a call from 112 about a problem with their AC. Be sure to fix the problem as soon as you can. I gotta be honest with you, Captain. These ACs, you gotta... We gotta start buying these from somewhere else. These things are not built to last. They break every few minutes. Engineering! This place is falling apart. Oh, it's you again. I came to fix the AC. Is now a good time? Yes, please come in. You got it. AC. Here I go. 
I think it just said that my shift was over, and then it asked me if I wanted to keep playing. I fixed your AC, sir. Look at them go. What do they do? Where's the vacuum? I'm grabbing the vacuum. We're working overtime. Gimme. No! I can't vacuum! I'm not housekeeping! We're still holding that cookie. Alright, we're working overtime, so let's at least... We gotta hit these other two rooms. Uh, 103, 116. I'm here to fix your, uh, checks, notes, lamp. I came to fix your lamp. Hello, Miss Ramirez. My name's John. I'm here to fix the problem you reported. Okay, would you like to come in? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the only way I can fix it. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you is not the right option there. I've replaced your light bulb. I, I mean, it's 2 p.m., first of all. I don't know why you need the lights on. I fixed the problem. You should be all set. Do you mind if I look around for anything else that needs repair? You got it. Here I go. Ah, one of those 85 degrees type people. Is there anything else I can help with? Alright, we're good. I touched something without permission. What do you mean? I totally asked first. Room 116. Two way radio. <clears throat> I'm not answering that phone call. You got me fucked up. I'm already working overtime. You think I'm adding more to this task list? Ha <laughs> ha! You're out of your mind. I can't knock on the door unless I answer the radio. Hello, no. I'm here to fix your internet line and press X on it to raise our house salt scores. The salt score does seem to have gone up a little bit. <clears throat> Thank you, Ultimo. The burned out light. I will fix your burned out light. Here I go. Yeah, one moment, please. It doesn't get rid of the dialogue, sadly. It just delays it. You do have to come back to it eventually. Yo, arrow will! Thank you for the 12 whole years. Alright, I guess we're done here, then. Because at 2pm it told us that our shift was over, and we've been on overtime since... I guess we'll do 107, and then if we get another phone call, we're just gonna smash cut. Smash cut out of here. That's 107. Yo, Scolionage! Great job. However, we detected the following problem. You touched something without permission. Radio. <laughs> you put on Carlos Santana's Smash 1999 hit Smooth featuring Rob Thomas of Matchbox 20. I feel like I did them a favor, personally. I'm gonna fix your toilet without your permission. I'm gonna barge in. I'm gonna unclog your toilet and I'm just gonna leave. That's it. 
You left the room before talking to the guest again. I just stealth unclogged it and I ran away. I'm out of here. No, I'm out. See you nerds later. Where's the elevator? I didn't even talk to her again. I just had to leave. You think I'm staying one extra second in this smelly-ass bathroom? Got me fucked up. Yeah, yeah, let's go downstairs. Can you take a vacuum and play with it? You can, but only if you're on housekeeping. We're currently engineering. We, uh... You cannot multi- <gasps> Pool! When checking the pool area, please make sure all of the following are checked. General area condition. Area is clean and odorless. Lights are on and working during evening hours. Furniture is positioned properly and in working condition. Towels are stocked and neatly folded. Space is dedicated to soiled towels. Phone is working. Local emergency and safety regulations are met. So I actually cannot go to the pool. I'm not fixing this AC. You're out of your mind. I'm not allowed to go into the pool. It just tells me what to do at the pool. There is no... You cannot actually go there. They did not model a pool scene. Fitness center. Yeah, yeah, we're not allowed into the fitness center either. So there are some places... <gasps> this one works. The business center. Now we're just free roam in the joint. Pick up trash. Galaxy? There's a fucking galaxy bar. Refill the paper? Oh, dude, this is getting good. I don't have any paper. Shit, I'm holding on to this cookie. Ah! <laughs> Smile. <laughs> I'll put the cookie back. I've been holding on to it for about nine hours. I'm going back in. We're about to free roam the joint. Where's the paper? Yeah, give me that paper. You need paper? Then we gotta refill the paper and the printers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's what I call gameplay. You're still here, huh? Is this... Are you good? How are you today? Great, thanks for asking. Have a good evening. Okay, but what are you... Wh why are... Huh, he just... Okay. I'll just leave you to whatever... Just close that door. Just, yeah... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you today? Great, thanks for asking. Smile. About to free roam the joint. Can I leave? Can I venture out into the world? Am I allowed to leave the Hilton Garden Inn? Not really. I'm allowed to go through one door. I'm not allowed to go through both of the doors. I'm surprised that even this first set of doors works. Yeah, we don't want to see life out there, honestly. I feel like life outside of the Hilton Garden Inn, like, might not be worth it. Like, why would I be anywhere else when I could be right here in the Hilton Garden Inn, TM? This wonderful establishment with great service and great employees. Why would I want to see what's out of these windows. That's why we can't see out there. It's because we don't want to see out there. <clears throat> There's nothing out there for us, folks. It's all downhill once you leave the sanctity of the Hilton Garden Inn. <laughs> yeah, hashtag ad. This, this stream, surprisingly, is not sponsored.
Where does this elevator go? Oh! He's gone. Your giant fire ring call. Thank you for the two whole years. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize this building was haunted. Not feeling so safe anymore. Dude, what happens if we stick around until 3 a.m.? I don't think there's any more buildings, or I don't think there's any more areas that we have access to. Yo, Bibiano Beats! Thank you for the 40 whole years. He's gone. The ghost of the business center is gone. I hope he found whatever he was looking for. Enter the login below. Now you know for damn sure that this joint is on Internet Explorer. I went to the doctor recently for a thing. <laughs> and I believe all the computers there were on Microsoft Edge or whatever the fuck. So you know for damn sure that they're on some prehistoric internet type shit. Was it for my gamer dent? No, it was for... It was for, like, some abdominal pain. Because I had had a kidney stone before, and there was, like, a weird pain in roughly the same spot, and I got super scared, so I went straight to the doctor. Turned out to not be that, so everything's good. But yeah, point is, while I was there, uh, Microsoft Edge on all the computers. <laughs> All right, I think we're done. I think we're done. There doesn't seem to be anything else to explore here. 61 Hotel Salt, 70% brand score. Let's look at the credits. Sponsor. Senior Vice President, Brand Manager. Is that all the credits? One, two, three, four, five, six people. Is this, there's not even like, oh, there it is. I was about to say, is this, does this scroll or is there just, did anyone make this game? The streamer is a brand risk. Do not sponsor me. Did I see what OS they were using? No, I, I could not, unfortunately. I didn't, I didn't see. The Hilton Garden CEO. Uh-oh. Why would you leave the Hilton Garden? There's nothing out there. There was never anything out there. Yeah. You were born in the Hilton Garden, and you will <laughs> stay in the Hilton Garden. After all, you've been here since 1925. <laughs> Is this Fallout all of a sudden? You were born in the Hilton Garden. You'll die in the Hilton Garden. We here at Intech believe that you should stay inside. It's better here. <laughs> Yo, this is an available username. I don't see <laughs> shit on speedrun.com, so congrats on the fresh any percent WR. Yes. I have a hunch that I spent more time playing this game than most of the population of the planet Earth. So, I've got that going for me. Most of the staff, yeah. Thank you for the 100 bits. The real takeaway is that this game's got hot jams. Yo, unusual cook! Thank you for the raid. How are things? What were y'all up to? We were just, uh, we were trying to get hired by the Hilton Garden Inn just now. Wait, they made Moon Base Alpha. I think that's right. That sounds right. Fallout 2 first play, yes! I love Fallouts 1 and 2. Big fan. Yeah, Lord Schlouchy is definitely the best at uh, Hilton Garden in Ultimate Team play. Yeah, we just played an employee training program for the Hilton Garden in. If that sounds interesting to you, uh, check the VOD. 
we are moving on to the thing that people probably thought we were going to play first today. Obviously, people expected some work time fun today, right? So we gotta we gotta give them what they want. Gotta play some WTF. If we're playing a game about employment, we also have to throw this one in there. WTF is super fun job game. The Ultimo. 70 bits. Oh boy. Thank you for the 70 pen caps. We'll get some pen caps going. I didn't put anything in the corner, so I guess I'll just grab the box art. Gorilla style. We'll just grab this and we'll just kind of throw it roughly in this region. Kind of throw that in there, right? Eh. Crop that a bit. That's all we need. <laughs> Something like that. So yeah, this was made uh, by Sony themselves, I believe. Published by D3 Publisher, who most people probably know for the simple series of video games. What a lot of people don't know is that this is actually a sequel to something else. This game is a sequel to Denki Groove Jigoku 5 for the PS1. This game right here. Which in turn is based on real life music group Denki Groove. These guys. <laughs> These two guys. <laughs> So I don't know if the, I don't know how much they had to do with the original game. I don't know how much Denki Groove had to do with Denki Groove Jigoku 5 for the PS1. The point is this game birthed work time fun for the PSP. It has many of the exact same mini games. It has partially the same concept. But there's not much that I could say that would do it justice. So let's just boot it up then, shall we? Remember hearing about this in the mid-2000s? Yeah, it was very early PSP. Work time, fun. Yeah, 2006, the North American version. 2005 for the original Japanese. Work time fun! <laughs> Existing work time fun save data not found. Yeah, I'd like to start a new game. I like the car full of trash. That bodes well. WTF Junior is my default name, is it? This will not do. That is good enough. How do I maneuver to the okay? I found it. Sex. There is a question mark option. Blood type? I'm gonna be honest with you. I... don't know my own blood type. Do you? I don't. I don't think I've ever needed this information. I'll put that as a question mark. <laughs> I've never known my own blood type. I don't think I've ever needed to know. There's never been a test. I've never had to take a test where they're like, what's your blood type? I don't know. This has never, has never been important. Give my actual birth date. <laughs> address? You're not getting my address, video game. I'll give you my birth date. I won't give you my address. Trish. Message, work is fun. So true. So true. Give them my social. Yeah, give them the three wacky digits on the back while I'm at it. I would like to save this data, yes. Oh, I've got mail! So this game is about... We work in a temp agency. And we do mini games to make money. Welcome! Nice to meet you. WTFNet is here to provide support for you through email. Please check your mail often. You got it. I have zero dollars. Placement office! Also, this temp agency is in hell. I forgot that little detail. 
That's fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, that sounds good. Alright, let's get some money. Work time fun. Yeah, I'm ready. Traffic counter! Count the people with the X button. Count the people who appear. You'll lose if you count anything other than a person. You got it. Counting. Alright, so if we see any of these, we have to press the X button to count them. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. One, two. <coughs> also Doom guys here, he's wearing glasses, don't worry. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Are we going to cover all the jobs in this stream? Almost certainly not, and that's due to the means that they are unlocked to the player. And I can't wait to show that. <laughs> Tofu from RE2? Okay, well... I think this is the Kung Fu theme. I may have pressed that one too many times. <laughs> no good, there was 15 people! Zero dollars, the Bank of Baytel! City of Money. Nice check. Jigoku City. 45951 Scary Street. I made no money. Made absolutely zero dollars. That's alright, all we need is one dollar. Maybe we, maybe we can make a dollar at Baseball Superstar. Move player. Well, we just gotta catch a thousand hits during practice. Catch any fly balls before they hit the ground. Three missed balls and it's game over. All we gotta do is catch a thousand balls. Like, how hard is that? Like, there's one. Only 998 to go. Buckle up, chat room. This is going to take a while. Oh, what a catch! I'd buy that for a dollar! Oh no, I fucked up! Skeleton. Skeleton. <laughs> They're all pretty deranged, honestly. Some of them are more deranged than others, though, I'll concede that. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I did that Skeleton. was more or less okay than the other ones. Whoa! Whoa! Idiot! Idiot. <laughs> Damn, I'm kind of nice. Oh, I fucked up! Alright, you got me. You got me fair and square. 46 cents! Let's go! We made 46 cents for that. It's nice for my hard work to be rewarded for once in my life. Work time fun. Mushroom crossing. Guide the pedestrians to the other side of the road. They'll be safe on the lines in the road. Collect mushrooms along the way for bonus points. You got it. Collect the mushrooms. So we are the guy at the bottom crossing the street. We should collect mushrooms for bonus points as we cross the street. Are there any questions so far? No. Yeah, that makes sense. 
<laughs> the conflicting sound effects. There we go. Get all the mushrooms. No. No, I needed that. Yes. Perfect. This is a PSP game. This is for the PlayStation Portable. How much are we getting paid for this? I assume the amount of mushrooms we collect will increase our profit margins. Oh, no! Okay, we almost got run over. We very narrowly avoided vehicular manslaughter. Oh, God! Why are the cars numbered? Why isn't your car numbered? Fucking weirdo, you don't have a number on your car? Oh no. Uh, no. No! He's dead. Hey! Quarter fats. Get out of town. <laughs> $4.90? I can't believe it. We're filthy, stinking rich. This is the richest I've ever been. Thank you, Ultimo, for the for the for the quarter. I'd buy that for a dollar! Alright, let's go to Pendemonium. Work time fun! This is the real shit. This is what everyone wants to see. Put the caps on the pens. You can use the D-pad to turn the pen. Press X to cap the pen. Circle to go to the next pen. This is what people really wanted. This is what you wanted to see, right? Oh my god, I'm insane. Holy shit, how does he do it? I'm capping like crazy. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked that last one up. I will never recover from this. How long would you be able to tolerate this being your job, chat room? If your job was to be the pen capper, approximately how long would your mental last? Do you feel? You find this therapeutic? I kind of agree, actually. How big's that number on the bottom? That's, uh... I don't know, that's like... Uh, it's, it's like a decillion or some crazy... I mean, that's just... All we gotta do is get all the way to that number, right? So we're at 100 pens. We're at 101 pens now. All we gotta do is do about... One decillion of them. And then we're out of here, baby. That's it. It might take a while, though, so strap in. <laughs> yeah, people who bought this game on day one, they're still working on this one just to see if there's a crazy reward at the end. I will get to 200 and then I will clock out. Yeah, no one makes this many mistakes. Why do you even need 
Yeah, give me my paycheck. What did I make? <coughs> we made six dollars. 201 pens. Three of them were defective because we did it wrong. We got a 20 cent bonus. We made six dollars doing that. Easy money. We have eleven dollars to our name. This is going real good so far. <clears throat> so you might be seeing that and thinking that, well shit, we've done all four of the games. There's nothing else to do. You fool. You buffoon. Of course there's more. There's way more mini-games in this game. How do you get them, though? It's a gotcha. You have to gotcha the other mini-games. We got a sword! You have to, yeah, you have to do gotcha to get jobs. Here's the problem. Sometimes, you get the same one, and it doesn't count, because you already had it, and you lose your money. <gasps> Lumberjack! We just got a new minigame, let's go! I'm jumping in immediately. I don't remember how to get to them, though. I think we got a job list. Yeah, here we are. Good lumberjack. Put me in, coach. How to. Press X to chop wood. Chop wood when it appears. Game will end if you chop something other than wood. I should have made this our... I should have made this the starting soon screen. Hold on. Oh, yeah, that's what I should have did. That would have been way better. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Stop trying to get me to chop a bunny in half. Oh. Yeah, sooner or later we'll slip up. Hey now, hey, hey, whoa. What, you run out of wood? What's going on here? The box labeled box is very good. Yeah, we're chopping, baby. That wasn't wood. I got baited because I saw brown. I saw brown and I'm like, it's wood! It wasn't wood. That's all right. Back to the gotcha. Oh, that's right. We got a trinket too, didn't we? Yeah, yeah we got a cool sword. A useful weapon for ranged attacks, but difficult to master its use. The world record throw is 321 feet. We got this from Bronze 1. Which I suppose implies that all of these are bronze. Good evening, get out of here after you finish. I guess all three of these are bronze, yeah. Bronze 1, 2, and 3. They all cost $1 a pull. So we got silver, these ones cost $5. These ones cost $10. And the celeb tier gotcha pawn, fifty dollars a pull. What kind of crazy mini games are in there? But we'll just we'll slum it up in bronze because we need the mini games. We got we got no money. We got a water drinking bird. 
I mean, half the time you don't even get new mini games because you get all kinds of other like random bullshit. The American Matchbook, finally, some lucky strikes. Oh, chick sorting. New mini game. Oh, Cliff Race 2000. Now we're getting somewhere. The skeleton bowen. Beauty spot. The mini pen light. Skeleton. Ticket for Kofuku Station. Skeleton. Plastic top. All right. Yeah, you can swap stuff. There is like online connectivity. Skeleton. <laughs> yeah, let's try chick. Uh, go to chick sorting. Skeleton. Well, this bodes well. This imagery that I'm seeing. Move the chick to the identification area. Triangle to send to heaven. Circle for male, X for female. Sort the baby chicks into the following boxes. Male, female, or heaven bound. You got it. You got it. Here I go. Oh, I fucked up. What a blunder. <laughs> Are there any questions about this video game so far? It all seems pretty clear to me. Damn, I'm kind of cooking. Wait a minute. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I fucked up. I'm not cooking anymore. Oh my god, I'm sorting like crazy! What happens when we fill up that meter? Will we ever know? Do we get paid at the end? Yeah, ten minutes. Ten minutes of sorting. But what if we get a fat payday out of it? What if? It's paid at the end, you got it, I'm in. Oh, I fucked up. I mean, you got me. We gotta get paid, we gotta unlock more shit. This is oddly therapeutic, I won't lie. I didn't get payment through the job list menu. It's just practice. I see, I see. Well, maybe we did. Okay. Yeah, no, I see. It's because we're on job training. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. You're right. Where do I... Where do I do those at? Here? Placement office.
Where's my other... Where are my other mini games? Are they at the cantina? I thought the cantina was the multiplayer. Placement update changes every so often. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll check my mail. I got you. <gasps> New mail. From Kenjamin. Finally. You started working too, eh? If you have any questions, just ask me, okay? To do the things you like, you gotta make money. I'm going fishing with my money. Good luck. How was your first job? Did you handle everything all right? As a reward, we present you with a gift of five dollars. You may use this cash gift however you please. Biology power from Ken. The owner of that apple farm has been through graduate school for biology and doing research. The apples he grows are really good. The thing is, the pistols are uh, the pist pistils are hard to pollinate. This is a message from WTF Net. Bronze, silver, gold, and celeb vending machines all have different prices and different items. Please try all of them, if you get a chance. How frequently does the placement office update? I suppose is the question. I think if we go to the cantina, it gets stuck because it's like online and it tries to connect and it just hangs forever. Every 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah, we'll have to manipulate our PSP clock manually then. I can do that. A Mahjong tile! Three count. Ramen timer. Gotta look at the ramen timer. Mini playing cards. Handy light. Let's look at our tool list. The ramen timer. A timer for cooking ramen. Ah, shit, I can't afford this. Just kidding. Alright, let's look at the three minute timer. Start a job back out to reshuffle the ones available. We'll take a look. All right, three minutes. This is your three-minute ramen timer. It's ramen timer time. Start. Yeah. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is what we do while our ramen's in the. This is what we do when our ramen's cooking. We have to wait. That's good. Oh, we're almost at 30 seconds, and my muscles are twitching. Flex, flex. My ramen muscles oh, twitch. Oh, big. Flex, flex. Oh, oh big, flex, flex. big. Mm hmm Hey, like my ramen muscles? Oh, what do you big. Think? Cool, huh? If you want to have muscles like these, then eat your ramen. Oh, it's been one minute. I think I better flex a little more. <laughs> Here we go. Muscle, muscle. <laughs> muscle, muscle. Golly. Muscle, muscle. Muscle, muscle. Muscle, muscle. I'm dying, the Squirtle. Bouncer. Muscle, yeah, muscle. I'd buy that for a dollar. Muscle, muscle. Muscle, muscle. Oh? Muscle, muscle. Mm hmm. Muscle, muscle. Muscle, muscle. Let me write this down. Muscle, muscle. Muscle, muscle. Muscle, muscle. Huh? Muscle, muscle. Muscle, muscle. That's a good question. Does this make you muscle, want. Muscle, muscle. Do... Are you in the mood for some muscle, three minute. Muscle. Instant ramen oh, right now, yeah. chat room. It's been two minutes. Ladies and gentle ramen. Man. Two minutes. It's only been Ladies two minutes? And if you like your noodles hard, then now's the time to eat them. Muscle, muscle. Ooh, ramen muscle. Muscle, muscle. Ramen muscle. 
Muscle, muscle. You already ate your hey, ramen? You can cast a spell on me to make my ramen muscles more delicious. Huh? Muscle, muscle. Flex, flex, spice. Enjoy. Mm. Muscle, muscle. Flex, flex, spice. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Muscle, muscle. Flex, flex, spice. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Thank oh. you. Last ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Muscle ramen. Gee. It's the best. Time to eat. Finally. Muscle, muscle. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Are we just trapped here? It's just where we. Okay. Thank you. Give me out. I understand. Come back to that later. The handy light. Use this to light up the darkness. Useful during blackouts and clubs, etc. Turn off light. Play light pattern. Change light pattern. It's a handy light. So this is just literally to use your PSP as a flashlight, yeah? Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, where's white? I want to flashbang the entire chat. There we go. Would this work very well? Of course it would! You dare question work time fun for the PSP?! Hold on, let's start a game and then quit out of it, and then see if it shuffles them around. Oh, I got more mail! Oh, finally, ramen timer. I've been poor this month, so I've been eating noodles for dinner. Usually the five minute ones, but once I put the three minutes one on for five minutes. That was a disappointing meal, to say the least. Oh, Ken. Not like this, Ken. So I was fishing the other night, and I dropped my map and couldn't find it. There was a guy there who had handy lights, so he used it and saved me. That's what I like to hear, Ken. Let's go. Work time fun. All right, let's start up a game and then let's exit out of it. Yeah, <laughs> I hate fishing. Oh, it does move them around. Good looking out, chat room. That's why we pay you the big bucks. Alright, so this is a lumberjack game that we can actually get paid for. Because we're not on practice mode, so let's actually get paid for this. Yeah, don't choke. What did we- we got to like 50 last time, right? <gasps> I didn't press the button quick enough! 60 cents! You're not allowed to take your time with that, you really gotta go. Work time fun! Work time fun! Wait, it shuffles them that quick? Oh, it does! Work time fun! Nice. Yeah! We didn't get paid for chick sorting either, hold on. Work time fun! Let's get paid for chick sorting. <clears throat> Yeah, full 10 minutes, I'm ready. I can do a full 10 minutes of chick sorting. Dude, we're gonna get paid so much if we do a full 10 minutes of chick sorting. There is a 10 minute timer there. Just think, you could listen to the 5 minute ramen timer twice in the time it takes to do this minigame. What a great value, honestly. 
if you had a second PSP and a second copy of Work Time Fun, you could watch that and do this at the same time. Uh... Oh! I see. I'm gonna sort all these goddamn chicks, dude. I have to see what a full payout is. I have to see what a full payout of this is. That's not where that one goes. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the whole thing. That's not where that goes. That's the second time I've done that wrong. I were about a quarter of the way there. Think about how much time you could be passing if you were just watching TV in your Hilton Garden Inn hotel room. That didn't work when you got there, so you had to call engineering to come fix it. And then they tried to fix your AC even though it wasn't broken. Are we all going to get tinnitus by the end of this? Because it's already starting to... My ears are being attacked. <laughs> <laughs> You're safe, yeah. Why is there a 10 minute timer on this when presumably you can hit paycheck to cash out at any time? <clears throat> Why is there a maximum duration? We've almost made it halfway. <clears throat> I put the heaven bound chick in the wrong box. Am I Hilton Hotel certified now? I think so, yeah. I'll submit this VOD as my uh, as my as my application. I'll see. They'll get back to me. And we'll see. It's 2005, you're on the bus to work, it's a one-hour drive. Then you hear this for 30 minutes, yeah! That'd be so good! Someone's playing their brand new PSP on the bus, no headphones, and you're sitting next to the guy that's doing this for the whole ride. Like, how pissed off are you?
Yeah, no headphones, mobile gaming. Just making your... You're just making your, like, anime gotcha game everyone's problem on the bus. Alright, so we're... <clears throat> let's see. Approximately three-fifths of the way there. We're getting to the home stretch. How big is this payout gonna be? I better get a thousand dollars for this. No one has ever sorted this many chicks before. It's never been done. This better be the biggest payday of all time. We're gonna get two dollars? Yeah, probably. Because we keep fucking this up. They're gonna deduct all of our winnings because occasionally we press the wrong one. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, King Zigzag, thank you for the follow. What inspired you to follow during this moment? If you don't mind me asking. Because I've I've had people follow the channel before, and I always appreciate it. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. But what was it about the chick sorting minigame? <laughs> Some dwarf thing for the follow as well. My god, we're on the home stretch. I think this game was designed to prey on your attention span. Which would already be pretty bad if you get about eight or nine minutes into this one. But also I'm reading a Twitch chat at the same time. So my attention is even more split. Yo, Forest EX! Thank you for the 32 whole years. Anything new with the chicks? No, not really. We're almost there, though. We got, like, probably about a minute left, a minute and a half. Music? Yeah, the one minute warning. Chicken. Oh my god, I'm sorting like crazy! Chicken. Yes! Chicken. You do something similar to this as your actual job? Skeleton. Well, I hope you got paid more than I did. I got paid eight and a half dollars for that as a base salary. Bless you, DNO. Oh, thank you, Gear Strike, for the 500 bits. That's not bad. We got 8.55. We got 120 as a volume bonus, accuracy bonus, heaven bonus, rare bonus on top of that. So, all totaled, we made 12 bucks. Not a, not a bad day's work. That's the most profitable game so far, yeah. I don't know how. All right, Cliff Race 2000, I'm ready. Work time fun. I'm ready. Teach me how to Cliff Race. 
Press X to break. Stop closer to the cliff than your opponent. Break when you enter the red break zone. It's a game of chicken. Understood. How hard could that be? <clears throat> chicken. <gasps> I was the purple one. I thought I was the yellow one. Now I know. I understand which one I am now. He's dead. He's just dead now. Oh god, I'm GG's. At least now I know that I'm the purple car. <laughs> 50 cents! Run it back. You fool! You buffoon! This game feels very WarioWare. Yeah, this predates... Uh, this predates WarioWare, at least conceptually. This game was, uh, birthed from a PS1 game that predates WarioWare. It's probably more accurate to call it, like, a Bishibashi, which came out before this did. <clears throat> Oh, you got me. We made a dollar. I'm all right with that. Always with the mail. Yeah, we've already covered all that. Yesterday at Chick Sorting, we already showed a dinky groove. We could show them again, though. It's a good photograph. What? Well, not that one. It's a. Uh, 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 there they are. They're gorgeous. Look at their stature. They're posing. You are not immune to getting jump scared by Denki Groove. I accidentally sent a living chick to heaven and my pay went down by a lot. But more important than my pay. I wonder what happened to that chick? We'll never know. It's a mystery. Mr. College, I thought so. It looks like you just started work time fun too. I knew you would since three weeks ago. I'll send you a special thought for luck, so don't move until you feel it. I said don't! Back to the gotcha. I'm going to the five dollar y dues. Yes, sir, five dollar pulls? I got a queen ant. Yeah, big spending. I'll I'll spend big. I don't give a shit. Here I go. We got a cute girl's phone strap. Okay. We got a waste can robot bottle cap. We got no new mini games to our name whatsoever. But we did get meaningless trinkets. So maybe it's okay. The Mushroom Crossing game paid pretty well, actually. Work time <clears throat> one. We have to maximize our mushroom gains. Yeah, I'll backtrack for a mushroom. I don't give a shit. Got all the time in the world, baby. <coughs> oh, 
Uh oh. <laughs> you got me. You got me fair and square. There's definitely noise happening. I wouldn't call it music, per se. It certainly has the ingredients of music. And yet... Yeah, music broth. It's a good way to put it. Oh no. <laughs> He's dead. <coughs> Five dollars, not too bad. Five ninety five. All right, let's go back to the cheapo one dollar gotcha. We can't afford this shit. Here I go. I'm gonna mine. I'm gonna mine the bronze one gotcha for everything it's got. A small cast iron top. Oh, Fuba. School mistress finger puppet. Very good. Toy watch. You got a rugby ball. I'm sorry. I found a brain. Sometimes you just have you have you ever you ever just find a brain. Back to lumberjacking. We gotta make this money. Yeah, yeah, crank that yodeling. We're back. We're so back. Don't kill an animal this time. I didn't kill one last time. You, it turns out you only have so much time to swing the axe or they declare that it's over. I'm sure somebody's already done the math on this game to figure out which mini game has the highest like DPS of money, right? <laughs> the most optimized ratio of time and money. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Hanky. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, MPS money per second. I'm sure that's already been optimized. Would I be surprised to learn of WTF speedrunning? Oh shit, it was the brown one. It's always the- it's always the log-colored one I get baited by. Every time. He's dead. He's just fucking dead, dude. I have mail, at least. Discipline your mind. Are you playing Lumberjack? I really suck at that job. I can never concentrate, and I always mess up. Maybe I should try some meditation. No, dear friend. What you need is a ramen timer. That's all you need. 
That'll get you sorted out real quick. Time fun. See if I can re-roll these. I want to do the uh, I want to do the the car game again. I want to do cliff race. That one's sick. Work time fun. I don't think I ever got paid for this one either. I don't think I ever got paid for the counting one. Any percent's just under an hour. Nice. This is what it's all about. Counting the people that go by. Have you ever played... Pokemon Stadium 2? It has... A minigame where you are essentially doing this. Go Adam Admar! Thank you for the 29 whole years. That feels right. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, you just gotta have a Doom guy. You gotta have, like, Salary Man Doom guy. Where are we right now? You know what? Don't answer that. That may have been too many. I'm not sure. Oh, it was 17. No money. Interesting. Yeah, you count only the humans that go by. This is the one I want. Now here's a fucking game. This is the best one. What happens if I win three in a row? Do I get, like, a three in a row bonus? We went too far. We got a dollar, though! This one pays pretty well for how little time it takes. It's this last one, we keep overextending. There we go. Perfect! What do we get for a perfect? Five dollar dues! Oh, dude, this is the best one. This is the best game. <laughs> That's easily the best one. Back to the gotcha. Alright, I'm gonna mine bronze, too, for all it's got. The computer man eraser. Yeah. Brass ducks. A button. Mm-hmm. Bullfighting man eraser. Green pepper-shaped magnet. These are all very useful. 
The fish sausage ring. Copycat. I think we got at least one new minigame then. For the most part, we got trinkets that don't do shit. These brass knuckles are the product of a leading brass knuckle manufacturer. They really hurt. Copycat's gross. I'm ready. I'm ready. Put me in, coach. Work time fun. What is a fish sausage? Don't worry about it. Work time fun. How to. The buttons correspond to the creature's position. Remember the order of the burps? Oh no. Press the buttons in that order. Oh no. This doesn't bode well. I see. This is certainly the video game of all time. Oh, I fucked up. I thought I could mash it faster than I actually could. You have to let one burp play out. I, I tried to just, like, dial it in like an Welcome MK combo. Get ready. Koryun, thank you for the follow. No, I'm going back in, Pyronoid. We gotta get paid for this bad boy. I think this is real life. Ew! No! Oh no! I got so distracted that I didn't even pay attention to what the next button press was. As soon as I saw saliva hit the screen, I'm like, oh no, I'm out, dude. <laughs> this is a, I'm out, you lost me. Work time fun! They've gotten good. They've gotten really good at this. Yes! Excellent. Did we unlock three count? I think we did? There it is, yeah. It only shows us four at a time, so we have to keep re-rolling them. <clears throat> three count! Break out of the pin. You, the masked compadre, have been pinned. Press the X button to break out of the pin. Get more points the closer you pull out before the three count. So we have to orchestrate a near fall. Got it. We have to do as close a near fall as possible. This match brought to you by... Two point eighty six. Okay. <laughs> Do a two ninety nine, you got it. You just press it one time. You don't have to mash it. <laughs> two ninety nine, you got it. Here this I go. This match brought to you by... What? 
We're getting closer. We're gonna hit this shit. <laughs> the crowd loves it. They love a near fall. It's just that easy, chat. You think I can't hit a just frame? You think I can't hit a just frame? I play fighting games! Well done, Turner. Well done, Turner. Well done. Yo, thank you for the gifts up to Dragon Denton. <laughs> that's a good way to make money, yeah. Four dollars for that, that's not bad. That's him. That's literally Dino, please. <laughs> right there. Thank you for the 1,000 bits, Skoliotage. <laughs> that one pays really well. Let's do that one again, and then we can get... If we get $15, we can roll the, the silver three times, right? No green, that's why he's the goat. Oh, thank you, A2B. Let's just try and get $15. That way we can roll the, the silver tier gotchas. Maybe we can get a silver tier minigame. This match brought to you by... For all three 299s. Wait, oh, that was a fast count! It's not always the same speed, he can fast count? I didn't realize they changed speeds. That that changes the whole this ball game. Brought to you by... Yeah, he was trying to <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah, is it different referees? It might be. Slow and steady improvement during that one. It's not much of a wrestling match. It's like three German suplexes, and then... And then one spin kick. This match brought to you by... Yeah, this minigame is great. I'm a big fan. Love a good near fall. In my opinion, who did the best near falls in pro wrestling? Uh, <coughs> I think, I think the greatest near fall of all time was done by The Undertaker after he had taken Sweet Chin Music directly into a pedigree at WrestleMania. I can't think of a better near fall. <laughs> it's probably the greatest one of all time. <laughs> Oh, mail! Hold that thought. Before we read that mail, a frog race has been redeemed, so let's do that, shall we? Prepare your new yen, folks. No. You've got a decision to make. Can you redeem a ramen break? Absolutely not. Like the three minute ramen timer as a redeem. It costs like a million channel points. That's the. That'd be the worst idea. Although it would be a good excuse to go grab more water.
All right, betting time is over. Scott Steiner favored to win. I'm not surprised. Uh, start race. I almost accidentally paid it out instead. Oh, wait a minute. He stops at the line. Never mind, he crosses the line first. Scott Steiner did, in fact, win the frog race. The numbers, at least this time, did not lie. <laughs> Pay it out. 432,000 new yen to 22 lucky winners. Congratulations to everybody. Can we throw Jeff out? We sure, we certainly can, yeah. We can throw Jazzy Jeff out. Uh, let me cut over here. That's the wrong scene. This one. Ah! <laughs> Probably, he probably deserved that. Mail for your great achievement. We're delighted to notify you for breaking the pin at 295 three times in a row. The WTF committee bestows upon you the awesome title below mid ranking wrestler. Thanks. Love to be a, a mid-carder. Internal clock. I got thrown so many times my body hurts. That referee seriously counts faster and faster each time. If you get no sun, your internal clock messes up. Secrets of pro wrestling. The other day I got counts of 222 and 277 and I got a lucky bonus and more money. It's hard to do it every time, but if you get good at it, you get a special title. Really? 222 and 277, there's a bonus? I can probably hit those. Huh. I bet I can hit those. <laughs> Underdog wrestler title. For winning 10 races, we get the rookie cliff racer. Gonna lab that shit out, yeah. But first, gotcha. To silver, I will purchase one of each. Hey, you love to see a new mini game. That's not a mini game, but that's a good lad. I like him. The Elf King. Alright, we got some minigames. We got some new shit. We gotta re-roll these. Work time fun. As a Chubo, as a Chuboid, yeah. Let's do the net first. We unlocked it first. Work time fun. Ah. How to? Yeah, tell me more. Select, decide, raise the net. Meet with the fisherman and raise the fishing net. Rotate the stick according to his shouts in order to raise the net. <clears throat> I understand. I don't understand. Have you got time to drag a net? Sure. Why is it a 3D? Why are we on a 3D beach all of a sudden? See you again at 1807. Yeah, okay. I guess we just sit here for seven minutes. Man. Can you move? No. No, we just... We're just here. We're just here for the next seven minutes. This is where we live for a while. Poem's been redeemed. You got it. There's a net. That's exciting. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, let's throw it over to Stampede. Hey, Stampede. How about a poem? There is a hole in my soul, cut from this oil-dark cloth, folded and tattered and torn. From the hole drips bits of life, fleeting memories, shavings of dreams, grains of me. There is a tear no thread can sew. It is a permanent wound in the fragile fabric 
of self. You've missed absolutely nothing, by the way. That's a good question. That's a good question. Every poem is directly from the interstate video games. You've seen this timer be like half an hour. Yeah, told us to wait about nine minutes. Man. <clears throat> well, we've got nothing to do for... We've got nothing to do for a little while, so... Just as a treat... Yeah, Minnesota Fats would never hustle you. I trust him. I think you're right. I trust him. Here's a quarter, Fats. Get out of town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you for the quarter. We've got the soothing sounds of the ocean. Where absolutely nothing has happened. People overwhelmingly in favor of Minnesota Fats. Start the frog race. Best of luck, everyone. Oh, wait a minute. Frog number three pulls away. Cliff wins the frog race. The one that had the least amount of the total bet has won this day. Some of you are about to get paid. 292,000, 294,000 new yen given to 19 people. Congratulations, everyone that just won the frog race. Condolences to everyone else. No. Hmm. Well. If you're watching this VOD, I would press the right arrow on your keyboard a few times. Yeah, why not run a frog race? We got nothing else to do until the guy gets here. Time to cheat. Yo, Ray Cat, who dat? Thank you for the thirty four whole years. All right, start the frog race. Robert from the King of Froggers has, in fact, won the race. 49% of you bet on Robert. Probably because you saw a comically long name and went, that's the one. But you are correct. 285,000 new yen given to 22 people. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations oh, yeah. to the 22 of you. Damn it. 
You've nothing left to bet? I'm gonna be honest with you, Captain. That's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're betting your last eighty-nine dollars. All right, betting time is over. Best of luck, everyone. Oh, they're pretty even. Wait a minute. One and four are at the line. Who's gonna get their tally? Hall gets there first. Once again, the least favored to win has prevailed. Pay it out to frog number one. Uh, pay it out to frog number one. My one button. My one button doesn't work. I have to pay this shit out manually. I got you. I will pay this out manually then. Choose outcome. Frog number one. There we go. <laughs> the payout button just stopped working. I had to manually pay it out. 211,000 new yen given to 24 people. Congratulations. Well, we've got another minute. It's not enough time for a frog race. So I guess we're just here at the beach, alone with our own thoughts and the sounds of the ocean. I've already forgotten the controls. That's the best part. They're going to throw a mini game at us, and I don't even remember how to play it. E. E. Analog stick, you got e. it. E. E. Balloon! E. E. Rotate the stick. I can e. rotate the stick. You got it. E. 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 Same. E. Good. Huh. Good, you're on time. E. Let's roll. Like you got it. E. Here I go. E. Oh. E. Uh huh. Oh. Do it right. E. Oh my gosh. What's Do what's going right. what's going on here? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'm spinning. Don't worry. I'm I'm spinning that shit. I'm gonna spin this bad boy. Oh, big. Let's go. Look at all those fish. Cool. Hey! 120 dollars total, work time fun cash. So we get 10% of it, huh? We got 12 dollars for that? I don't think we got the whole catch, I think we got the bottom portion. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's not too bad, though. That's not too bad, that's okay. Work time fun. <laughs> Work time fun. This one scares you. I'm not surprised. This is the one that most people know. Move left, right. Brake, accelerate. Avoid phantoms. Head for the goal. This one is based on a real life. German poem. Let's see. Circle break X accelerate. I love it. Ah, coins. We can pick up the coins. 
We must get the child to safety. But the child is under attack by a demon that we cannot see. So, we have to not crash into things. That's pretty much our only objective here. Get to the end before child dies. Gamer, I am so sorry I had a work call. Did you do it? Did you just frame and yell, Doya? I did not. We did hit one just frame, though. Thank you for the 500 bits, Skolionich! If we get three count again, we can try to hit another just frame, perhaps. This is probably the most difficult of all the minigames. Most people seem to agree on that. <laughs> yeah, child moist. Ironically, child dies in the poem anyway. Which is probably why they made this so difficult. <laughs> yeah, spoilers. Bro, it's just from like the 1800s. Child's very possessed, yeah. Jump. Jumping does not appear to do anything for us, though. I don't think this kid's gonna make it, y'all. Alright, fair enough. He's dead. Yeah, that's the one, UFO. That is, uh, that is what this is based on. Hold on. How much money do I got? Twelve dollars! Hold on, I can hit this just frame. That is the canon ending of the poem, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Oh no, I was too late. Yeah, we gotta try and hit that. We gotta try and hit 222 and 277. This match brought to you by... Okay, let me get a feel for it. <laughs> we hit 23 twice? Alright, you got it. Who dares? Yo, Lord Billiam! Thank you for the raid. How did the Krusty Clown gaming go? I saw you were playing a Krusty the Clown game. Oh, he's doing- is the fast count riff. This is the fast count riff. Okay. Alright, alright. Krusty's super fun house. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the raid. Hope it went well. I'm trying to hit a 222. We got an email that said if we hit 222 or 277, we can get a bonus. I'm just trying to hit either one of them at the moment. Just to see if it's, you know, worth the money. This match brought to you by...
We're tap dancing around the 22. Oh, we're getting close, though. Why am I aiming for the worst number if I mess up? Because they might provide two different bonuses. This match brought to you by... Aha! Yeah, we got the fast count, Riff. Can I hit a 77? 77 is going to be a bit harder with this referee. Yeah, so we probably got like two full dollars for that. This match brought to you by... That's not too bad. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. Internal clock is powerful. I just I just play fighting games. That's all I can tell you. This match brought to you by Oh. <laughs> You can't do this to me, video game. You can't give me two 76s in a row. I'm very good at approximately hitting it. This match brought to you by. We're gonna hit that shit. We're gonna hit it. <laughs> Oh, it's the fast count guy. I had to react quickly. I like that you have to kick out of three pins. You have to provide three near falls. You drop kick him once and they ring the bell. We never pin him. It is just declared a TKO. This match brought to you by. I guess he's just dead, yeah. Ah! It's a drop kick match, I think you're right. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to the gotcha. Wait. Let's try to close. let's try to hit some 99s real quick and then we'll then we'll do the gotcha. That way we have to, like $20, right? Cuz if we can get $20, we can roll the gold one twice. Whoa. I didn't even realize he was the fast counter. Ah, you got 
me. You got me a frame late. You got me pressing it a frame late. Having there be two referees this in this brought to you by... is pretty smart. Because it makes the game pretty much unmasterable. Well, that should pay decently well, at least. Alright, we got 20 bucks. 20 bucks is good enough to roll the golden gotchas twice. Question is, will we get anything useful? Probably not. The chance of us actually getting a minigame out of this is very slim. Extraordinarily slim. But we did get an electric car. So, you know, we've got that going for us. Pond's nay, very good. <laughs> to the placement office. Pens! Time fun. Yes! Let's cap some motherfucking pens, baby! What are we capping pens to? Give me, uh... Let me see. Let me go into my... Let me go into my tunes. Go into my tunes folder. The Plock Boss theme. There we go. I'm ready. is the best pen capping music. I just can't think... just can't think of a better tune for this. <laughs> Acrylic True. I mean, that's what you gotta do when you're at work anyway, right? If you don't have- if you don't have a job that involves you talking to people, you might as well put some music on. Not suspicious stranger! Hey there, pal. If you give me three Mahjong tiles and a dreadlocked hair chick, mm -hmm. I'll give you a good job. <laughs> that's a good trade. That's a good trade, I'll take it. Why are there 36 digits down there? Well, that's how many pens we have to cap. It might take a while, just, uh... Just, uh, just get cozy. It will be- we're gonna be here a while. Yeah, we're just capping a few pens. That's all we really got to do. There have never been that many pens in the world. There might be. I haven't met that many pens. I'll tell you that. This is the quickest way to rack up cash in early game. Is it really? Is this the money strand? I thought that three count would have been. Or like the, the, the cliff race seemed pretty lucrative. Is pen capping the actual strat? <clears throat> I'll go to 300. 
I'll go to 300. I can cap 300 pins. That is a solid day's work, I feel. Scoliodage! I can't believe you. I can't believe you cap a pen wrong on purpose at 300. <laughs> How dare you. We haven't capped a pen wrong yet. Or maybe we have. I can only pay so much attention. Well, that's convenient. The song is fading out. There we go. 300 pens capped. Not too bad. Paycheck. Pay that out, baby. $11 reduce. 300 no defective goods. An extra $2 bonus. So that means we got paid nine dollars base plus two sixty. So that's a hundred pens per three. Okay, so it's like three cents a pen. That's actually not really bad. That's not bad at all. Perfect game of traffic counter. You get fifteen bucks per game. Yeah, that's. I don't think we've ever succeeded at that one. Let's go to the net again. So here's my question. If we start up the net and they give us a time, can we go back out to the menu, right? And then come back when it's time? Like, can we do other shit and then come back? We can't? All right, well, let's see what it is anyway. Let's see what time. 21.02. What time is it? It's a little outside my pre- I mean, yeah, we could just sit here for two and a half hours. What do you think? We could just sit here for two- Like, two and a half hours? What have y'all been up to? How are things? I mean, there's just nothing else to do on this beach. See ya. Might be good- <laughs> Yeah, the, the sea. <laughs> no, we can't wait that long. We don't got that- We don't got that kind of time. I will roll the golden gotcha again. I have the money for it. Hey! We got a gold tier minigame. We got candy shop. I was hoping we'd get a minigame from the gold. Now we gotta roll it, because it only displays four games at once, so we gotta, like, roll that shit. There you are. <coughs> Don't forget my mail. Let's do this first. Move cursor, put a candy on the skewer. Put the same colored candy on a skewer, ship it out. If the colors don't match, it'll be returned to you. You can mix colors only on a golden skewer. Matching colors on a golden skewer give you bonus points. Got it. Got it, got it, understood. I don't understand so far. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think we're baking Dongo. Uh, that's a bit better. <laughs> yeah, the bad dongo RNG. No, I can't put this anywhere. How dare you? Why would there be four different colors? You can't do this to me. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, where is the golden skewer? 
Maybe it's the one in the middle. <laughs> no, I think we'd know it when we saw it, right? There appears to be no timer or anything. It appears to just be go until you lose the will to live. Which, you know, that fits right in with the theme, really. White? White. Oh, I see. Now I understand. <laughs> the nets filed under the category of fuck off. I suppose we should be thankful <coughs> that the one time we did it, it only told us to wait like 10 minutes. You know? I suppose we should be thankful. Is the golden one real? I don't think so, I'm not convinced. What is my defeat condition here? I have misplaced these in a very bad way. How have I done this? <laughs> They're not gonna give me another brown, are they? <laughs> Alright. Ah, there it is. I think you're only allowed to have so many of each color at once. Because as soon as we got rid of one, that's where it was. You get it? I'm glad you get it. I sure as hell don't. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, that's right. If they don't match, they'll be returned to you. That's true. They did tell us that. Oh, God. Oh, no. Not like this. Never mind. I'm good. No, we're good. We're living. Everything is under control. Stop panicking, chat room. Everything will be just fine. Nothing bad ever happens at work time fun. No, don't panic, I said. I urge you not to panic. Although I definitely just pressed the last few buttons looking at chat. Which does not help matter as much. There we go. <gasps> the golden skewer. We found it. It is real. I'd only heard legends. Stories about the golden skewer. None of these go anywhere. None of these go anywhere helpful. Two points for matching colors on Golden Skewers, yeah.
This one is pretty engaging, comparatively speaking. I do agree with that. This game does have achievements in the form of titles that you can unlock per game, yeah. Bro, we clean that shit out! How am I so good at work time fun? Never mind. He says completely misinputting. <laughs> Well, there's not much to do with any of these. No, I gotta get all the white ones in one spot. There we go. <clears throat> the cap job was better. There's nothing better than the pen capping game. That's the... That's the absolute pinnacle of the peak. It's not looking good, fellas. Is what I would say. <gasps> but I can get a bonus if I match with those. But I can get a bonus if I... Oh, shit, I fucked up. Well, two of them match. I'm sure it'll be fine. <gasps> two of them. They said it couldn't be done. They said that it shouldn't be done. What were any of these? I've already forgotten what the game claimed this was. Candy? I don't know. I don't know if I'm eating whatever this is. It doesn't look like no candy. Allegedly. Love a good uh, jelly-filled donut. My favorite. How many have we done? Almost 69, according to the top corner. <laughs> yeah, don't look like no candy. Oh, shit. All right, well. We were denied 69, I believe. We got 68. This is what we deserve, truly. Although, that one's pretty good. That's one of the better ones that we've done. I do have mail. Look at all this mail. We're notified, or we're delighted to notify you for getting paid ten dollars. The WTF committee bestows upon you the awesome title Weekend Fisherman. New house watching robot. New the wife doll house watching robot. You won't be lonely. Your house will be safe. It has none of the problems of a real wife. If you want one, you must act fast. I'll pass. For breaking the pin at 222, the WTF committee bestows upon you the awesome title below. Triple Two Wrestler. Trading system. A dud. You can trade trinkets with other people at Hell Cantina. So if you have... A friend who also has this game. You can swap your items around. What does that actually accomplish? Pretty much nothing. But then again, I suppose that's the game. <laughs> For 50 pieces of candy, you have gotten the title of Candy Maker with a magazine appearance. Cliff Race. I love this one. Whoa!
You want to do a rip on the $50 gotcha? We can get 50 bucks. We can stockpile 50 bucks. Do I know the trick to this? No, I don't. It's safe to assume I don't know the trick to any of these games. Yo, what's up, Lyricism? Nice. I'm willing to receive the trick to the cliff race, yes. Because this one actually goes by really quick. That's not a bad way to make money. Watch the black trees in the background. Oh, really? <laughs> hmm. 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 <laughs> Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready! Yo, Demon's DM. I might probably didn't say that right. Thank you for the follow. So great! Three trees, one tree, red line. Ah, I see, I see. I had just been reacting to the red line. <laughs> Thank you, So Crates. Thank you, Lord, So Crates, for the 49 whole years. Ah, oh, three counts back! Yep. Time fun. Yes. The cliff. I. I had. Uh, the cliff is reactable. Genuinely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just. Farm 296. All right. Wanted to see if I could cash that out any faster. Dollar fifty ain't bad. I think of all the games we've done, three count might be my favorite. And it's the simplest one by far. Someone's maxed the money in this. They have to have, right? There's got to be somebody. Shit. Referee, that was a fast count. That was a fast count by WCW referee Nick Patrick. I think he might be in cahoots with the NWO. I'd like to get him removed from the building if possible. This match brought to you by... Oh! Yeah, you're trying to get as much of a near fall as possible. Well up, John Barbarian. He hit the up. The suplex for 2.9. Then he hit another one. Then John Tiger hit the function one. Shuffles papers two stars. <laughs> Thank you, Dave Meltzer. We got three consecutive 298s. I mean... No, I don't think we ever hit a 277. We got two, we got three consecutive 298s. I'll just have to be content with that. Oh, <gasps> mail. Mushrooms are amazing. Tell me more. Are you picking mushrooms? I played Mushroom Crossing too much today, and now I don't have any time to meditate. I guess that's the magic of mushrooms. You know what, Mr. College? You're right. You're right. Is Mushroom Crossing in here? You're so right. It's not in here. Yeah, that makes sense. He's so right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find Mushroom Crossing again. There's Lumberjack. Baseball. Let's go back to baseball. All we have to do is hit a thousand of these, right? All we gotta do is catch a thousand balls, throw them to first, uh, throw them to first base. 
Like, I don't even see the problem. That's all we gotta do. Oh, no. I take it back. This game's impossible. Okay. Okay. Yeah, can't field a thousand routine grounders in a row. Okay. Idiot. Idiot. Yeah, I know, I'm never getting called up. Never getting called up to the MLB at this rate. Yeah, absolutely hate to see it. Okay. If you catch 80 in a row perfectly, you make 16 bucks. What denotes a perfect catch in this game? Do you just, like, hit it as late as possible? Oh. Yeah, okay. What exactly denotes a perfect catch? One frame the throat of first? Ah. It's him saying okay? Well, that doesn't really answer my question, though. How do we produce that? Right? <laughs> it's a frame perfect throw, gotcha. Mm, frame faster. Press right and X after you catch it. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 I see. Okay. Okay. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, bro, we're playing soccer. Oh, I got distracted. Sorry. Soccer player, you screwed me. I hate it here. Work time fun. Let's check out the net again. Nineteen twenty-three. What time is it? All we gotta do is wait about 35 minutes? That's not too bad. About 35 minutes? What if I just re-roll the net? What if we just- Oh, dude, three counts back. I'm going- Time fun. Going back in. This match brought to you by- <laughs> we played it safe at the end because I didn't want to I didn't want to accidentally get pinned after a 299. I know that you get paid a lot for a 299. So I was like, I have to play this kind of save at the end. <laughs> what happens if you re-roll the net, though? It'll just give you another time, yeah? 21-25. That's not too bad. That's just... About three... Three hours? You wait three hours. It's not too bad. I mean, there's going to be a lot of fish. It's going to be a big fish net. And then you pull it in. And then you get cash money. And all you got to do is wait about three hours. Those three hours are go by in no time. 
Three glorious hours of frog Good race. Fun. Here I go. Alright, I'll admit I was mashing. Nine cents? That's not too bad. I mean, I was just mashing buttons. Oh, you have a really small, like, window. You have to react way faster than I thought you did. Fuck. You got me. You got me fair and square. So that one pays the same amount as the pen game. Because the pen game pays three cents per pen. Which makes the pen game strictly way more lucrative than... Yeah, who puts a rabbit there? It's fucked up. Look, we can get 50 bucks. We have to pull the highest, uh, we have to pull the highest tier, gotcha. See what we get. We're gonna have to accrue 50 bucks to do that. <laughs> the woodcutting theme from Shenmue 3, yeah. There's a woodcutting game, not to bring up Pokemon Stadium 2 again. Pokemon Stadium 2 also has a very good woodcutting minigame. Complete with, like, sick nasty just frames you can do. Five dollars for a perfect score. That's so much money in so little time. If you can consistently perfect this, it, it might be just the most lucrative thing. That's a really fast five bucks, dude. Uh oh I felt like I overshot. Oh! We're getting paid, baby! Let's go! Let it ride! We're raking it in. Hell pottery, you can get paid good. We haven't- we haven't found hell pottery. All the mini-games in this game, you have to roll a gotcha to even obtain the mini-games. Ah, oh, we lost. That's alright. So more often than not, you'll be spending money and not even unlocking mini-games. You'll be getting other random bullshit that does not... That is not playable or even interactable in any way. The game is very much taking the piss, but that is kind of the point. <laughs> yeah, $50 grind to get a knickknack. <clears throat> if we really wanted to, and I really don't, but if we wanted to, we could drop a save state before we pull that one, just to see if the RNG changes every time you hit it. I'd be willing to do that for science, even if I am against the idea, in general. Uh-oh. Ah! You overshot. Damn, he didn't overshoot. Bonus for skirting the edge of the cliff, maybe. Why is the P in speed yellow? I have no idea. Good question. P is yellow. True. When you put it that way, it all makes sense.
You overshot it. Ah, fuck. You got me. You got me fair and square. Yep. Well, now we're both dead. He's going over that cliff! Uh oh. Okay, we made it. <coughs> this game needs like a Speed Racer esque mechanic where Speed Racer just fucking kills everyone by running them off the road and then they explode. Yes. Uh oh. Uh Bless you. No, there were no sneezes. I've had a I've had a nasty cough all week though. I've been sick since like Tuesday. I am still not a hundred percent. I am consuming every lozenge on the planet Earth. Damn, this guy's good! He knows that I'm trying to farm this game for money! Oh, easy! They do that. He cheated. Can we get a ref out here? Can we get a can we get a referee out here? That was some illegal acceleration I just saw. Oh no. <laughs> Notably, this game does not allow you to pause the game. And that's probably because it involves, you know, specific just frame timing of hitting the brakes, but it also makes it so you cannot quickly dismount the video game when it's not going well. I, we lost the first race, and I'm like, it's okay, I'll just quit and re-roll the whole game. No, you can't even do that. They thought of everything! It's not looking good, gamers. Yeah, initial P. We got a whopping zero dollars for that run. You know what we need? We need some relaxing three counts to ease the pain. <laughs> this match brought to you by... <laughs> if nothing else, I'm pretty all right at three count. This match brought to you by. Yes. Yeah, pretty much dynamite, Pete. Ah, 
Ah, you got me. We were a frame late. I tried to hit two of them in a row. That would have been sick. This match brought to you by... Another one. It brought to you by the Shadow Government. We love casting spells. Three in a row? Yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> Sadly, that doesn't pay super well. This match brought to you by... You got me. I love that they just throw garbage into the ring. What's it brought to you by? It shows you the sponsor right at the start. There's like a semi-transparent image. Yeah, there's like an umbrella that it shows for a second. Break out early, you're right. You're right, I should no-sell it. I should no sell this German suplex. This match is brought to you by the Hilton Garden and Engineer Staff. <laughs> Thank you, the Ultimo. I'm gonna kick out at one. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in the business for myself. Your suplex is weak. I did it. I did the ultimate warrior kicking out of the pedigree. It was me. I was that guy. <laughs> this match brought to you by... Can I hit a 299 with the fast counting ref? Holy shit. All right, well, we have $50. That gives us precisely one pull of the highest rank gotcha in the game. But I suppose for science, and so that we can confirm whether or not it gives you different shit each time, I suppose I can save a state for science. I don't really expect... I don't expect the RNG to increment on its own. I figure once you're here, it's just this is the next thing you get. But we'll see. We got the moon itself! You take the moon! And you take the moon! Tell me more. Tell me more. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Where is that pesky thing? Earth's only satellite. In 1969, Apollo 11 made the first manned landing here. However, some people still think it was all a big conspiracy. Yeah, there's a lot of trinkets. What these trinkets essentially are is just a way for the video game to not give you a new minigame. That's pretty much all it is. So if we were to back that up, we'll see if RNG increments at all. So let's see if it saves your RNG, like, when you enter the menu. So if we, like, back out, go back in. Figure out the science behind the RNG, right? Yeah, no, it looks like you get shit in a set order, so there's not even a way to cheese it. Unless, it increments every time you do a minigame. So let's do that first. We'll do one minigame, we'll go back. Because you never know. 
Maybe that's how it works, maybe not. This match brought to you by... <laughs> yeah, $50 for the entire moon? Honestly, what a deal. Marry me with my money. Hey, give that back, man. I was just thinking about stealing that. <laughs> man, talk about stealing my whole gimmick. Wow. Thank you, Gru, for the dollar -y do. Yeah, we'll see if that changes it at all. The science of the gotcha machines. So it does change when you do a minigame. So that's apparently when it re-rolls the RNG. Turning the game off and back on might also increment it. Still, though, that ain't much. <laughs> let's go back to when we had 50 bucks. And then let's... Let's buy some of these bad boys. Yeah, we got an egg. Hey! Start how to exit. I understand. Demonstration roundup start how to exit. A counter, finally! The Dashing Master bottle cap. Buy some golds, yeah? Mega scales, yes! USB? Dude, you can fit so many illegally downloaded UMDs on that bad boy. Pen shaped camera. The masked compadre autograph. 64 of God's own megabytes in your pocket, yeah. I got mail! There's no time to read my mail. Actually, there is. Everyone's like this. Since I'm all grown up now, I like to take other people's losses as a chance to profit for myself. I guess I've just shown my weakness. No, don't worry about it, Ken. I was really bored, so I used the counter tool to count the number of straight hairs and the number of curly hairs on the floor. There were more curly hairs. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so that counts as a tool then, right? Yeah, both of these are tools. No, 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 not the other one. This one is a tool. Two built-in counters. It can count things in any unit. Left counter and right counter. Perfect. Dude, look at this counting action. If you press L on your PSP, it counts the left number. But if you press R, get this, it counts the right number. It's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, I guess that's the sexy noise we're hearing. There's definitely moans in there, vaguely. So, did we unlock a new minigame? Oh we, we gotta find it. Let's try and find it. There you are. Oh, wait, this is the traffic counter. That's the wrong one. Yeah, it's the demonstration. That's my bad. We'll get back to it. We'll re-roll that shit. Yeah, we missed. That's all right. We'll get there. Work time fun. We're going back to the net, baby. Check this out. Watch this shit. It's going to tell me to wait two minutes. It's going to be great. They really want me to cap these pens. Bro, I can't even load the net. There it goes. Why did it take so long to load that in? 2147? Why, that's only... 
two and a half hours and some change. Nah, I'm good. Work time fun! Work time fun! Yeah, the two hour timer. There it is. Work time fun! You tried to cheese at putting the PSP on standby. How to move. Gather people in the park to begin the demonstration. People will come out of the buildings as you walk past them. Touch them and they'll participate in the march. Touching the riot police results in a game over. Gotcha. I can do that. Ooh! Ooh! I already like the look of this! Yeah, do you want to join my neat protest? Oh shit! Those were the coppers! Alright. Run it back. This one seems cool, yeah, big fan! <laughs> you beat it, it's the fuzz! I suppose my question is, is my lose condition <coughs> any of my people touching the riot police? Or is it specifically my front guy? Just me? Okay, that's good. It's quite a riot we've got going. Oh, they turn! Ah, I see, they can disperse your dudes, gotcha. Gotcha, understood. Yeah, Pikmin, Pac-Man! Pac-Man! That's pretty neat. Oh, I can take them to the center. Gotcha, gotcha. I understand. I see, I see, I see. I see, I see. So there's a sense of not getting greedy here, then. You don't want to get too greedy. Gotcha. This is the cutest protest music. This is the cutest tune I ever did protest to. Looks like the red buildings are worth more. Let me get all these guys. Let me get these guys to the middle. Where is the middle, presently? There you are. Let me get these guys in here. Nice! Yes! 92 strong! Alright, we're past a hundred. <laughs> yeah, one cent per pro per, per, per protester. I wouldn't even be surprised. That sounds about right. 
The red buildings appear to be worth more, for sure. Like, the red buildings have loads of dudes in them. So the blue riot police don't chase after you the way the red ones do. This is a dangerously large group I've got. There it is. Let me get these fellas home. Yes! Nice! 200! The greed! I know, they're the cutest little protesters I ever did see. Fifty. Let's get in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get in this red zone. Oh, that's the sweet spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Organized protest getting a little crowded. We're gonna burn this motherfucker down! You know, peacefully, of course. Peacefully, with, uh, uh kerosene. But, but, like, but like safe, tranquil, and peaceful, non-violent kerosene. Yeah, we're only gonna use the blue fire, which is completely safe. It's edible, even. Hurry up, you got it. Let me get these fellas home. We're running out of room in there! What are we protesting about? It's probably the, uh, outrageous prices of the sound effects in this chat room. They cost like 500 new yen each. It's absurd, honestly. I don't blame you for, for unionizing. pretty good. So your longest line bonus, for sure, if you had yeah, like a 500 stack, man. you'd get paid a shit ton. <laughs> One cent per protester. That's not too bad. Yeah. That ain't the worst. Alright, let's go back to the cheapest gotcha we got. Mail! Cartoon, oh, carton consumption. 16 billion cartons for drinks are made yearly. That means 140 cartons for every Japanese person each year. True. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Velvet Altaloon, thank you for the follow. Yeah, seven minutes. You could probably make the payment worth it if you had... Like a giant 500 stack. That wouldn't be bad. It's 
time to buy trinkets from the cheapest bronze, gotcha. <gasps> turtle. It was all worth it. I have a I have a pet turtle for people who don't know. So I'm quite pleased with this purchase. The sports car? Yo, the Ferrari Testarossa? <laughs> we got the fucking outrun car? This is going really well. And an axe. I mean, it's just in, it was in a little capsule, was it? Like a full-sized, yeah. Sweet potato shaped magnet. Yeah, love a good outrun. Shogi Peace Pawn. <clears throat> Not too bad. Alright, we've been streaming for about five and a half hours. We're gonna have to call it there, I feel. There's so many more minigames in this game that we didn't see, but maybe we'll come back to it at some point. Or maybe next time we'll just get a save file. It's got everything unlocked. But I wanted to show the actual experience as best I could. Mr. Radon! Check on the net again, I could do that. A frog race has been redeemed as well, so we have to do another frog race before we get out of here. Hold your fire. Thank you, Mr. Radon. For the 31 whole years, we'll do a we'll check the we'll do it we'll do the net, we'll check the net, and we'll do one more frog race, and then we'll get the hell up out of here. Old Red, thank you for the 12 whole years. It's gotta load the Elf King. The most high effort game in the whole game. They're not giving me the net, gamers. We're being denied the net. There you are. It's gotta load in like a five hour timer. Don't worry. Please hold. Come back at 1.30! Bruh, that's uh, like five hours. It's like four hours, no. Well, there's simply nothing else to do other than run a frog race. I ask you a simple question before we get the hell up out of here, chat room. Which frog do you think wins this frog race? You've got dog, and you've got frog. Yeah, check, uh, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll start another stream. I'll start another stream once it hits 1.30 on that timer. And then we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll pick it up from there. We gotta wait about four or five real-time hours. If you're gonna go big, if you're gonna bet big, now's the time, because it's the last race of the day. We're gonna get the hell up out of here. <laughs> You'd be there for that stream? I'm bluffing. <laughs> Don't worry. People overwhelmingly in favor of Frog the Frog. I wish you the best of luck. Start the frog race. Oh, wait a minute. Frog number four has a huge lead. Frog number three trying to catch up. No one could catch up to Dog the Frog. He just started running and he never stopped. He's just the greatest. Can't believe it. Is he juicing? Can we get a referee out here? Can we get a wellness check? That was crazy. I think he might be taking performance-enhancing drugs. We're gonna have to check. For now, for now that record will stand, and we'll pay it out to frog number four. But we may take a greater- we might take a look at the film later on. We might- we might have to do a drug test, we'll see. But congratulations to the 18 people that won the frog race. 229,000 new yen. We're gonna get the hell up out of here. So thank you to everyone that tuned in. Thank you to everyone who rated, subscribed, all that good stuff. We might be back tomorrow. 
We Thank might you. be back tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then Wednesday Thank for you. sure. Thank you. Let's Thank see you. who's on. Thank you. Lythero is on. My Thank good you. friend Lee Lythero Thank you. is play. I have no idea what he's playing. Probably Siege. Throw scoots at him. Not prediction. I almost typed in prediction Lythero. That's not how that works. Throw scoots at him. If there's one thing I know that he hates, it's Thank when you. people spam emotes in his chat. So what I want you to do is I want you to destroy his entire life with Dino Thank Scoots you. and or Thank Rack you. Attacks if you don't have Dino Scoots. I want you to destroy his chat room. And I'll be back tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. Thank you for watching, everyone. Until next time, bye bye